Hello and welcome to a very special Rivals one shot. Uh, I'm going to actually let Tanya take away what the amazing thing we're celebrating here today is because I feel like you know the best way to describe these skins instead of me because I'm just the dungeon master. I <laughs> look how smooth I am. I'm a professional, well, guys. I'm a professional. All, all right. Uh, I wasn't ready for this handoff, but cool. Uh, we are showing off our new water davian skins our lord and lady skins uh gosrick beat us to the punch with that amazing skin that he's already got uh yeah, we're all nice. getting fancy and dressed up <laughs> and for whatever our illustrious dm is going to put us through tonight we'll at least look good when we die mm -hmm. back to you see i already would have messed that up because i would have pronounced it water davian and then inevitably the chat in the comments would have been like this is how you say that. And I would have been like, why can't I make words good? Why? But you do. Thank you, Tanya, for helping me out in that regard. I appreciate you. Yes, we're getting gussied up today for a very special one shot. And you can get gussied up too. Uh, go over to Idol Champions. Check out the amazing Rival Skin Pack. I'm sure there's some sort of promotion that V is going to pop into the chat. I wouldn't be aware what any such codes or promotions would be <laughs> because I have a hard time concentrating sometimes, but I'm really good with the rules. <laughs> but Jasmine, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, Brian could probably tell people about the season pass and getting all of our skins. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Brian, please. The way <laughs> we are just throwing each other under the bus tonight. Uh, under the bus or to their best abilities? Let's analyze um, it from, that, from the safe side of the sidelines, Masood said. <laughs> Let's see. Honestly, um, I would say that if you would like to get our water Davian, see, I would have said Davian too. So now I get it like Davian. If you would like to get our water Davian um, skins for season seven, you will need to buy the season, season seven pass, uh, which you can do through in-game prompts or very likely on your platform of choice. Then you can get a skin for Salise, Sharif, Tahani, Kent, and Virgil. If, no, did I do that wrong? Why are you looking at me no, like that? Did you I do that didn't wrong? You didn't. No, it's you just, just that Sharif was the only Sharif. one whose real name oh, got my, used. Oh, my. No, see. <laughs> so it, really good. Is like, it really is like being back. It is. It, wow. It's Shaka, been a while. Salise, so Shaka, good. Dahani, Kent, and Virgil. And if you hop in every day starting now, hop in for the water diving celebration, then you can, if you check in, I think, four days, you can get Gosrick's um, water diving winter celebration skin, which he is still wearing shorts. Yeah, absolutely. They're the fanciest shorts that you are could ask for. Also, Crocs. I gotta ask. Yeah, they were our Crocs. Uh, okay, it was inspired you. after That's the how happy is. <laughs> it's a good time, man. There are a lot of references in the character. There are a little bit of Easter eggs that you could check out. Um, I don't. I'm gonna throw out one. Uses ult. His, his ult's different, and and that's all I'm going to oh, say yeah. about it. It's a good time. You'll probably put a smile on your face, or maybe just Gazrik's face will come to come to mind. Um, that's about it. I know. I'm going to be working on unlocking all these great bonuses you know i can't wait to get the rivals in my lineup um right, right now, now apparently I, right now i i just have certainty <laughs> <laughs> Good. wow Good. wow Good. but i can't wait for certainty to uh, adventure with the rivals because that's kind of what's happening today <laughs> yeah. oh oh mm -hmm. kind of fun it's kind of fun so um <clears throat> we wait we are we should introduce the characters i was re i was ready i was so <laughs> you're ready to jump yeah. in i was yeah i was in the i switched to the i had activated my shinigami dungeon master eyes and was ready, ready. To start it was ready seen in water deep but no let's go around and introduce everyone as well as who they play masood we're going to take it away with you um and as a plus, uh, let us know what you were up to last night that your character is so hungover today that oh. they are functionally the equivalent of a level seven character despite being level 20. Okay. Hey, everyone. I'm Masood Hark, uh, comedian, actor, and all around goofball based in Chicago. Um, I play Gosrick Nomrad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman, Druid Construct. All of that comes to uh, make sense if you follow the logic of the character. But tonight, uh, he is hammered um and just really dehydrated um the issue that happened with gosrick is that he was like you know what 
I haven't really been out in the cold in a while. And these people think they know cold. No, everyone keep talking about it's not real cold unless you're on the frost plane. Trust me. And I just went outside and I cast Sleet Storm on repeat, just over and over again. <laughs> and I just stood out there being like, guys, it's fine. I'm out here in my shorts. It's good. It's totally okay. Expended all my spell slots just doing this. Somehow used my first spell slots to cast this higher level spell. We don't know how, but it has left me just so depleted um and so yeah however you see gosrick stumbling out of his room is because of that reason wow Dang. amazing latia all right hi i'm latia jakees uh today i'm playing dahani uh everybody's favorite aarakocra way of mercy monk let's yeah. let's get that clear no longer can say despite being Kensei in Idol Champion. She's a Way of Mercy monk now, and I'm not going to make Idol Champions redesign that whole thing. Um, but, I, you know, here's the thing. Do birds get drunk? Yes, because I have to be for the purposes of the story. Um, I think she, you know, she's got light bones, and uh, she, she's, she just had, uh, I don't know, she went on a bender for some reason, and uh all of the the good thing like the alcohol is absorbed into her bones and so now she's just like really drunk mm -hmm. i don't know she had a crisis of some sort and just got really drunk mm -hmm. so are aarakocra bones also hollow because that would is that, is that <laughs> yeah. the reasoning Oak in there yeah. yeah it's just it's it's in there rum <laughs> her bones are full of rum her bones are full of rum oh damn <laughs> It's, it's going to take you a while to shake uh, that one off, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Eugenia, who are you? Who do you play? And what? Did, why are no you? No idea. No idea. No. <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm a. I'm Eugenio. I'm team. Number oh, right. two on the things Eugenio needs to change me. I'm sorry for you doing the survey now. Okay, I'm going to fill it out now. Over. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. I'm I'm Eugenio. I'm DM Jazzyans, and apparently everything about me needs to change. Uh, I'm playing uh, Kent, our uh, tiefling, uh, well, bard rogue, but the hangover has caused him forget to forget everything he knows about bard magic. Uh, and a good chunk of what he knows about roguing about. Um, all of you all have such like stories about why you are hungover today. The truth is Kent just had a fitting for the outfit for whatever's going on tonight. And um, you know, it's, it was a fancy fitting at a nice store with very nice clothes. And so they offered him champagne and he said, well, of course, because I'm fancy. And they kept refilling it and um, he just thought he hadn't finished the one glass uh, when in fact he'd had about a bottle and a half. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, and so so that's where we are today. He has a really well-tailored outfit and very little memory of the fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Amazing, amazing. Sharif? Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Sharif, and I'll be playing Shaka, uh, Tiefling Celestial Warlock. Um, and... The reason why Shaka uh, has kind of gotten in this state um, is because he has been sort of inspired by uh, Gosrick and some others to try his hand in the kitchen. Um, he thinks that his uh, sort of calculating skills will naturally uh, translate into being a good cook, which, as we all know, is only part of the equation of cooking. There's also a lot of art to it. Um, and he's been trying to make some uh, drinks and some sort of like, um, I guess, alcohol infused snacks um and he went a little overboard uh he thought he kind of miscalculated some things he was like yeah well I'll, I, I can just double this it won't really change much if i you know just change this thing and he uh got himself completely inebriated from trying to make a nice rum cake that ended up being like a quadruple rum cake oh um, wow mostly rum yeah very little cake probably like a soup <laughs> By the end, <laughs> yeah, is it, is it like, like a rum cake suspension. Uh, I don't know what it was. Amazing, amazing, Tanya. Hey, I'm Tanya. I'm playing Slisa Storio. Uh, Slisa is so hungover, she forgot all her levels in Ranger. She's just a paladin now. Um, and she went out drinking with Laurel Silverhand and tried to drink her under the table. <laughs> 
So they kept going shot for shot. And at some point, the sun was up and she was back home, but she has no idea how. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. I love that. Brian. Hi, I am Brian, a.k.a. Urban Bohemian. I am playing Virgil, uh, your Asimar Storm Sorcerer. Um, Virgil was also at the fitting. Um, his went his went much faster than Kent's, so he was waiting with Kent and also partaking in the champagne. And Virgil's the reason that the champagne kept coming uh, because he was just like, yes, another and another and another. And then um, Virgil, um, you could say drunk or hungover um it's the next morning virgil's like coming out of the kitchen having actually made a big thing of grog you know with lime because it's good for scurvy and is just still sipping that so basically it's like if i don't let the hangover catch me i will never oh. feel it oh gotcha gotcha a little hair of the dog situation yes yes very nice very nice um and i'm your dungeon master uh, Jasmine, that bronze girl, Bular. And is this, how do, um, are you, are you going to whoosh me now? Yeah. Yeah. You, you want to pass it to me? Yeah. Okay. Shh, take it. Ah, awesome. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, it's been so long. Oh, gotta warm up. Wow. Warm up. Oh, God, that's right. I'm going to knock my mic right out of its slot. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I feel like All I should right, move everybody. my mic just for the whoosh. <laughs> Yeah. No one else has a running start. <laughs> You're the <laughs> only one standing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. This time on Rivals of Waterdeep, sponsored by Idol <laughs> Champions. Whoosh. Whoosh. Yay. Amazing. Amazing. So, Kent, uh, you are nurse how are you nursing your hangover i'm gonna let you take the lead on this um i think virgil tried to get me to hair of the dog it but mm-hmm. like do you and virgil get together right now uh oh no <laughs> no and i'll tell you why uh so virgil tried to get me to hair of the dog it but got to me too late and mm-hmm. so i like had the headache and the tummy and then he holds up in front of me like the most elaborate of apparently rum drinks, since that's what we were all on last night, mm-hmm. um, and just sent me scuttling immediately. I have dealt with the immediate problem uh, and am now uh, probably down uh, down in the common space at Troll Skull uh, with a big old mug of uh, water and a big old mug of coffee and uh, hoping that either Gosric or Duo is going to come make breakfast soon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As you're sitting in the common space, um, uh, an individual with uh, two buns on her head, an elaborate uh, brocade tunic uh, embroidered with the insignia of a university, Mandragore you, you think maybe you recognize it, uh, comes clip-clopping in in uh, Chloe heels. Ooh. And uh, sits down across from you uh, rather unceremoniously and says, okay, so you're still going to do the job, right? A little softer, a little softer, a little softer. Um, you're still going to do the job, right? Uh, 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 y- yeah, yeah. Um, ooh, okay. Um, what do you do after your fitting? Uh, I I have no idea, honestly. Oh no, because yeah, it's I fine. was getting fitted in the room next to you, and I was that tough- was you. <sighs> Sorry. Yes. And you said you could help me with this problem that you don't remember any of it. I remember that I talked to someone, and that um, I may have thrown uh, a partially full champagne flute over the fitting dividers in an attempt to yeah no it was a great you join the party <laughs> yeah no that part was great yeah but to, to oh wow can you not hold your liquor no i listen wh- at what point did you see how many bottles were there listen if you tell virgil that i can't hold my liquor 
sorry, one thing at a time. Um, and thing number Virgil! one is this headache. No! Oh, that's why people react that way. Oh, God. Oh, gods. Um. Bird. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Just, I, d who's yelling? Uh, Kent's not going to like, because that definitely wasn't Kent. Kent's not going to like this. Um, Virgil comes downstairs, um, still sipping. Like, grog, like, <laughs> what? Uh, at the table below, you see Kent bowled over by the, by the loud, uh, shouting and, um, the individual uh, stands up from the table, kind of knocking her chair back behind her, puts both of her hands behind her back, uh, her gray cloak billowing a bit as she does so, a little heroically. And she says, <clears throat> um, yes, hello. Uh, Kent said that you were going to help us with a job today. Did. <clears throat> You've been hired as the D team. We have. The is that is that sports what is that no it's 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 a job perhaps you've heard of it i give you money you do the job okay i, I just got confused by right the... here on all of the paperwork the document got... it all checks out it's... and you do see like instead of kent's signature there's just like a a, a smear of something maybe liquor maybe a it's... maraschino cherry it's what it actually is, is the words I love you in loopy cursive written with the stem of a maraschino cherry in champagne. That you tried to tie into a knot. C so correct. So it was all over. The yeah, it's yeah. Ugh. And Virgil just looks at Kent d demand demanding eye contact at this point. <laughs> yeah, is this you? You did this. This you. This is you. you oh, did, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, D team. What's the jo okay job? Let's get back to the job thing because the team thing threw me. So job. Well, where's the rest of the D team? I didn't even know we were called the D team until just now. Oh yeah, me um, and Kent had tons of jokes about it. Big D, D D's not. <laughs> Kent, tell them. Yeah, we had a lot of jokes. It feels like now with the headache instead of the champagne. Like maybe I have a few um, notes about the name. Oh, what? Maybe? Now you're too mature for the big D team. Oh, come oh, on. No, no, no. <laughs> certainly, certainly not. Let me tell you, there is nothing too immature for this crew in general and me in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't oh. I? Why don't? Here's what we'll do. We're gonna we're gonna save time. Why don't I go upstairs um, and get the others and you? can fill uh, Virgil in on the terms of the deal that I made, the job that I took, uh, so that he knows what's up, uh, which I could totally explain too, but I, I'm going to go get the others. Okay. Okay, great. Be safe. Love you. Yeah, love you. Thank, mm -hmm, love you too. What is, oh, what, oh, no, oh, okay. Okay. Um... Okay, so yeah, I want to start Aquatics Incorporated and have a cruise ship fleet, but no, 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 no. my dad thinks it's a stupid idea. And so I've acquired, using some of my allowance, a luxury cruise ship. It's kind of a prototype, one of its kind, uh, with just some like liquid funds I had sitting around. Um, and so I wanted to have, well, Kent said that you would look into this operation for me and make sure it's not a lemon before the ink is dried on the paperwork. And so, yeah, I just, I think that the wealthy of Waterdeep are looking for ways to burn their money. And I'm looking for ways for that money to, instead of being burned, go into my pocket. And I think uh, Aquatics Incorporated is gonna be the next big name in luxury cruising for uh the idiots of this uh drenched city and but i want you to just make sure that you know i'm the enterprise is running the way i want it to be run because i've heard some weird things about it and it's kind of you know it's a maiden voyage it's one of a kind you know just and kent assured me that you were cruise experts 
from upstairs, you hear a la- loud, but not nearly as shouty as he usually is. Um, Kent, or uh, Vert, my name is Kent, yell down. Uh, I, I think I said we were experts at taking cruises. Yeah, that's the same thing, I think. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, check that it's a seaworthy vessel. Uh, uh, I guess I guess I can do that. Do you need someone to go over contracts? Gosrick is probably the best we have at doing that. Yeah, and just you know, check out the crew. Check out how this functions, right? Like it's kind of like taking over. Yeah, it's kind of like taking over a restaurant. I I I don't want to come in and disrupt the ecosystem that's already there. So if I come online come on board and I say, oh, hey, I'm your boss. That's not going to go over well. I think it's better if you kind of pose as guests, make sure everything's on the up and up, and then come back and report to me. And of course, in return, free cruises for life. Um, But, you know, just make sure I'm not buying a lemon here. From above both of you, actually, you say, are you here? So I wouldn't have to fly to Chult. Uh, anymore and in the rafters <laughs> of Troll Skull Manor uh, you see like her head kind of like peeking from in between two bars where she is splayed wings full out apparently having falling asleep having fallen asleep up there Dahani uh, who's now looking down at you all um so you say free cruises for life, like I wouldn't have to fly to Chult anymore because I got the, you know, I can do it, but it's like, it's just so long, man. Well, yeah, I, I can imagine. That would be like walking everywhere for you, right? Yeah, yeah. And like she kind of like slumps down and like <laughs> flips and still like manages to like land on her feet, although it's not as like clean as it would be. Um. And then just like takes a seat next <laughs> next to Virgil. So what wh- what are we doing? I'm sorry. I, all I heard was cruise, and that meant not flying for me. And that's really the more important thing of the whole thing. Gosh, are you guys okay? You kind of seem like you're going through it. <laughs> At the moment you say that, a loud banging comes from the kitchen, and a block of ice with a man gnome climbing his way out of i got stuck in the freezer last night because it wasn't too cold i've been trying to get out since i heard the word contract (sighs) can't sign us up for i believe a consulting job is what you've got going here um i think for the name of nimrods we would love to undertake this endeavor i think this is a great um, liquid merging event for us. Um, oh, buddy. Um, what's the size of the operation? How many people are on the ship? How many of them are duds? Um, you know, can we cut some of the fat at the top? What's going on there? I already like how you think. Okay. Um, but as of right now, the crew is about 32 strong. Um, some organic, some inorganic, from my understanding. Uh, now the project itself was i'm sort of an angel investor in it it was pitched to me as a prototype from one of the kids i went to school with um and i wanted to kind of support him with his senior project so i decided okay let's maybe invest a little bit but i've heard some murmurings that there are some rough patches to smooth out so before i allow the general public on board and before i officially attach my name or my company's name to this I just want to soft launch it, if that makes sense, and have y'all just kind of look into it and make sure that, you know, it's not a liability. So as this is happening, Celise comes in also from the kitchen with a mug of coffee, and she looks pretty bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for someone who's been drinking all night. And she's like, I'm sorry, who was we? We, who, who agreed to what now? E-team. The what team? Uh, Kent, what did we land on? Was it the big D or was it uh, the... So Kent comes back to the balcony looking rather frustrated and says, I don't know where anybody is. Oh. We're down here. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I think it was the Big D team uh, was one of the finalists. Mm -hmm. I don't know that we settled on it. What was the other one? Um, Dallas, which I never understood, but it was yeah. just the word Dallas. Also, like, I don't know. Squared, which didn't make sense because like there's more than two of you. It was there. See, pardon, I don't... pardon me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So Kent, hmm. while drinking who knows what, signed us up to be secret people on this ship. Is that what I'm hearing? Okay. I was drinking champagne, and also this feels like a good time to go look for Shaka. Don't you Why? Do, don't you do, oh. How much? Virgil, Virgil, <laughs> come get your okay. husband. Well, first off, first off, yeah, I yes, secret shoppers, luxury crews, and if we're sticking with the D, then obviously with our group, we need to go with D6. I like that. I think mm. from a brand POV, I think it's hip, it's fresh, it's new, gets the kids excited. Are there kids on this? Is this is this, is this adults what? or kids crews? What's is there are there kids? Well, no, it's sorry, it's just vernacular for people younger than you. Um, <laughs> what was that? Um, <laughs> for students. Hmm. No, I'm not. No, no students. Mm -mm. Nope. You can keep this deal. Goodbye. Well, I mean, this would be, this is the main voyage. So you'd kind of be the main people on board, right? And probably be a handful of others just to see how the cruise operates at scale. Um, it's kind of an invite only sort of embarkation though. And based off of, you know, the stuff you were getting fitted for, you and your wonderful husband, I think you've already got clothes, you know, to, to go. That was just a, that was just like a, a day of the week. For him, like it, he always thinks we're going to need those for something. So, okay, yeah, we're now okay. he does. <laughs> yeah, to me, that's just smart. And if you think about it, Celise, even if you don't go, like you could sell your tickets and like treat it like a timeshare on the cruise. You could make the value option of just a little nuance, uh, a nuisance, sorry, uh, of work. You know what I mean? Like. You could make so much money out of this. Gods, right? We are richer than half the gods in the no, pantheon. Yeah, about but fleecing rich people. Let's not talk about the. I, know, we, I mean, sometimes power doesn't just come from money; it comes from services you can offer people. Which is why sometimes the best way to grease the palm of a politician isn't to give them money, but it's to give them a gift or a service, like box tickets to the most popular bard in Waterdeep, or cruise tickets that would be transferable that you would have for life just a thought mm. just a thought gosrick are you sure this isn't like a relative of yours absolutely not i don't know if they're from the frost blend we haven't I'm seen many definitely not i'm a okay joke. yeah I yeah, yeah. That uh, don't be heightest about it i mean i don't know if you are but wow. it feels you were looking I mean, down I when you said it Actually, I have a question because I was up there for the entirety of the time that you were in here, and I don't think you said your name. Oh, hello. I'm Certainty Drawn. Wait a minute. Sorry, I know what that. was that again? <laughs> One more time. <clears throat> Some people know me as like sissy. From my yeah, no, let's let, let's go back to what what people <laughs> who don't know you know you as. Certainty. Certainty. <clears throat> Certainty. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit of an unconventional name. Mm -hmm. The last name part, though. Yeah, keep going. Drawn. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, Kim was into it yesterday. I didn't. You didn't seem like a problem yesterday. And there's also a bottle and a half in, so let's yeah. just keep that moving. Yeah. <clears throat> but it was a cute name. Mm -hmm. Any relation to the omen who disappeared the manor a couple years ago? Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about disappearing a manor. Um, I was in, I had finals that week. But we didn't tell you what week it was. 
I had a lot of finals. Guys, <laughs> guys, guys, come on. But I mean, Pop Pop, I, he, you know, he doesn't know about this project. This is uh, extra credit. And who are we to judge someone based on their lineage, right? Right? Come on, Virgil. I we mean, don't do that. If were to be a judgment, it would be a very positive judgment because my lineage is pretty badass. But you know, Gosrick. I kick Gosrick for that. <laughs> what? Oh God! Oh, sorry. I'm still. No. Do you want I me to put know. you back in the ice? I'm gonna dangle him over the ice cube. It's not that cold. Still it's not fine. gonna be. It's not gonna be cold enough for him. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> then how about we make it warmer? Where Shaka? Yeah, if we're gonna do this, we probably should at least have everybody grown. Unanimous acceptance. or nothing, <laughs> she says. Like probably about like halfway through Ken's mug of water at this point. Oh, no. We hear a little <laughs> slosh as she flaps her wing, <laughs> and then yeah. I just look at you. Are you? Do you have a flask on you? No. Yeah. Um. Shaka's gonna walk downstairs. Um, I I can just do this roll internally because I want to see if he makes it. Uh, Found him. Uh, he Good. is not in great condition. Oh, that's uh, last night regretting uh, stairs. Yeah, yeah. He he mm. kind of waddles. Oh yeah, okay. Kind of like a waddle down the stairs, but you can see he's kind of bouncing, uh, back and forth to uh, uh kind of down down the stairs. Um, and he gets down there and sees what looks like a meeting. Um, and he uh just walks in and like says, Does anybody see where the rest of that, that cake was? Cake? Cake? There was some crumbs on a plate in the Yeah, kitchen. I made some cake. And a weird soupy thing. I was gonna say, mm, yeah, it was this porridge. I uh, it's uh, it's a cake, but there's different uh, different people have different uh different definitions for it. But I had some cake and I don't know, just things just got a little weird after that. Um uh, Shaka, did you bake the cake? Or did you I make did. It? I did. Oh. I'm trying my hand at uh it's you did. I I remember that before I went outside because I was that's yeah 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 he was working on it he wanted my advice on how to because we asked the best chef in Waterdeep as we all know uh, oh, was Leaf still wasn't here? here last night yeah I was gonna say Leaf that is here, in so. irrelevant to the question guys it didn't matter if Leaf was here or not because he asked for the best chef and whoa. oh so you left the manor entirely. I was there, and then I went outside for a disagreement. I do not know why. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, speaking of Gosrick, Celise, do either of you happen to have um, like a lesser restoration ready right now? I feel like that might purge the poison. Oh, you do? She slaps you on the head. Oh, and it is the best feeling slap Kent has ever had. I I feel like I feel like until very recently, Kent was not aware that you could get rid of drunkenness and hangovers with a, with a spell with a fairly simple spell and it still is just wondrous to him i mean i could hit you with one too i've got lesser restoration I, uh it feels like maybe gazrik or shaka could could use it i don't want to speak for you all but um... i can use whatever you got um, <laughs> uh, and then and then shaka does walk up to this uh person who's not seen before uh, and says, "Hi, I'm Shaka. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Certainty. Uh, so, are you a uh, a fan? <clears throat> um, of what? <laughs> well, everyone's gathered around. I thought maybe you, uh, he's you know, hiring, people, he's hiring us for people, a job. Job. It's a job." Job. Oh, a job. Um, well, as long as as long as it's in a couple of days, I think I'll be good. It's not. It's today. Hmm. Hey, you didn't even give us like twenty four hours notice. Well, it was actually Kent's idea that I I hire y'all. Like I. I was telling him that I didn't really have much faith in the contracting team I'd put together. And he said, fire those guys. 
I'll do it. And I said, well, aren't you going to need more than a day to put your team together? And he said, we're the D team. We can do it in 24. And I was like, okay, that's a really great slogan. And yeah, he said the D stood for one day and no matter what job I had, he could do it in one day. And then he added that as an addendum on page 76. If you look here, handwritten in chocolate, it says, Uh, Guys are frozen and looks over the contract. No, no, no. I I take a moment and I look at it and I look at it. It's like, Kent, when drunk, you are a phenomenal contract. This This is actually immaculate. This is really thorough. It's kind of really ironclad and binding against us, unfortunately. But I mean, like, I got no notes, my guy. You did a great job. This is really good. Yeah, it says pending an act of the gods. I would, I didn't put that in there. That was all Kent that uh, you're, you know, says. Kent. And I said, are you sure? There could be other extenuating circumstances. And Kent said, unless the gods come down onto the earth and physically stop us from doing this job, we have to do it. And we have to do it. Yeah, it's in the, it's in the contract. He, he put it in there. Meanwhile, Salise is looking around to see if Tear is going to show up. <laughs> <laughs> like. Yo, Tear, I need you right now. Well, All right. um, it's a cruise. We'll be fine. Oh, a cruise? Like I can go set. wrong. Yeah. I was going to say, can everybody, can everybody maybe get a bit of that lesser restoration before we get on the water? Because you, mm-hmm. some yeah. of you may need it. Sure. Is it on the water? Yeah. I want to make sure because we've been in different a, kinds of boats. That's boat. true. Is this is this a is this a water <laughs> ship or a space like star sky ship flying? No cruising sailing water water Water. okay Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um so i think that uh we're gonna we're gonna kill this job uh and the reason that i said uh, apparently that the sorry it was the d team that i said i know it's d6 now i said d team anyway uh that we could do it in 24 is because we can, and we will, because we're the rivals, and the rivals, right? Yeah, I like it. This is good. This we can build this into branding. Dahani just dunks her entire head into <laughs> and smoke of coffee. She's done with oh. the water now. It's coffee time. It's a good yep. move. It's a good move. Oh, that has to hurt. Isn't it hot? <laughs> 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 right. Well, uh, it's had to, it's had time to get a it's little been a while. time to get a little yeah. Luke. Yeah, um, exactly, fine. exactly. And Sleece just leans over to Kent. I'm gonna kill you. Certainty. Um, How long is the maiden voyage? Um, it's about six hours. It's a three hour tour. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I was waiting for it, but okay. Uh, all right. So, so technically, and and Virgil has been now flipping through this extensive drunkenly drawn up contract a six hour crew we can probably get that done in a day um we're like we're basically like secret shopper kind of thing is that what's mm-hmm. going on here mm-hmm. yeah okay. just make uh-huh. sure that you know it's a well-run business that they're treating the crew properly that the ship is in good maintenance you know i don't want to put a vessel out there that's not seaworthy you have people die it'd be horrible for my brand do, I don't want an uh, Ocean Gate situation, you know. <laughs> there, what, what, wait, what, 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 what do we have to do on this ship? Do we just staff it? Say, make you, sure. Did, did you acquire? Like you're talking about it. Like did you did you buy this operation? Is this your? Did you select these people? They came to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So we just need right. to make sure that they're on the up and up. They're doing. She's well, like she said, she's not buying yeah, a lemon. Right. I, it's all sort of beginning to come back a little, kind of partially. Nimrod does this all the time. We can bring Duo <laughs> along if you want. You know what I mean? Or never mind. We can just yeah, go. We, yeah, yeah, we can leave. Do them you need any out. um any entertainment on the ship? Okay, we should. Yeah, mm-hmm. let's go. We should. We should go see the yeah, ship. No, no, no. He's got a new um, type yeah, five. That's pretty good. I, you know, um, <laughs> Gosric, no turning into orcas. Eyes. Is that Orcus or Orcas? Eyes. Orcas. Uh-huh. Just try it once. Just no. If you know... It's not that remember bad. The... No. Remember not the that harbor bad. the last time you turn. No, it's fine. 
trying to keep damage to a minimum, I think, at this point. Okay. We can do that. We uh, we agree. Yeah. I mean, we have no choice. The contract oh, is legally is binding, this... pending divine intervention. I, mean, I, I, was, I was trying not to bring it up. Maybe right. Is this... Or... Is this legally binding, pending divine intervention cruise um, all inclusive? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm good. Cool. Uh, so we just meet you at the. Hard. Do we meet you at the pier? We meet you what in like an hour, or do you, do we need to go right now? I think some folks need coffee and. No, no, no. You can just huh? head over. Um, ideally, before three p.m. I think that's when they're gonna take off. Okay. Um. I don't know why I looked at my watch. Go disseminate sorry. the cover story back at headquarters. Uh, technically, I'm supposed to be in a meeting right now, and uh, they don't know that I bought a boat. So, um, well, we nice. uh, we are all uh, on board now, huh? oh. uh, and we will be there. Everything is under control. Uh, certainty. Thank you. I'm so glad you stopped by. Uh, no, of course. Are we still getting lunch next Wednesday? Uh huh. Cool. Awesome. All right. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Virgil, do I have anything next Wednesday? Probably another fitting, I think. I'm just... I can move that. Yeah, um. Can... Okay. So, first of all, really sorry. I know. I real. So I w if it makes it any better, I was absolutely sure at the time that she was offering us a cruise. Um, and the whole we will get it done in 24 hours um, was was because I figured if she was conning me, then then the time, uh, the time, the hurry up would would uh, would, you know, make her nervous. And, and I would I guess I was probably too drunk to figure it out. But in my head at the time, I figured I would figure it out if she was if she was, you know blowing smoke anyway i thought i was doing something nice i do apologize but like still we get a cruise it's fine it's fine you'd be fine it's okay trust me my guy and uh, we learn a lesson here we write contracts drunk and then we edit them <laughs> sober, sober okay yeah. this is yeah, how we that. do them yeah i mean i don't mind a cruise it's just working during the cruise but, this but is I a think, job right i mean yeah, but i think it's just yeah. observing the staff and making sure that they're not going to like sink the boat or kill the passengers this is probably great just guys some checklists some taking yeah. notes you know, i it's love probably this kind fine. of stuff you've been you no would. one's been taking the tour of nimrods no one's asked to go on site with me on any of these investment opportunities and this time thanks to kent you all legally have to so this feels really great for me i love that like you guys are gonna have such a good time I, I've gotten, we can get clipboards. Like I've got a whole spreadsheet that I built last time at the last on-site visits. We can do, it, it's going to be a good time, guys. All right. Silence I'm telling me something different. Okay. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Probably I'll go get ready. Yeah. What it's, What do we have it, to wear? It It's, it is um, upscale and fancy. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, there's, oh, wow, it even says upper crust. It also says chumps. Why would you write, why is that in here? Okay. Well, um, I don't, uh, yeah. Fancy, I think, I think is that's what also we're... what drew me to the whole thing was sort of the irreverent nature of, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing you overboard. I hope you know that. Pretty sure I can swim. Can you? Find out. Can you swim with things around your ankle? Sounds like a workout. Which I'm not prepared for. I'm going to go shower. <laughs> we dress. We dress. We, we get ready. We dress. We, we show Montage. up at 240 outside. Outside, You know what I mean? Like, it's, it, leaves at, it leaves at three, right? So it's like 240. That's a good time. That's a good time. Well, I, I mean, I guess if we're the, it's... like, main guests of honor or whatever, embarkation will be a fairly... <laughs> A fairly uh, quick process. Sure, right? They did say there weren't that many people yeah. on. So no. yeah, she, she yeah. It's yes. Are we are we guests of honor? How are the... we guests of honor and secret shoppers? Secret shoppers, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the question you ask yourself as you make your way down <laughs> to the grotto, uh, the location of which. Um, certainty is is given kent and is actually outlined in the contract 
um, which although Kent was not sober when it was edited, certainty most definitely was. Um, yeah, all of the empty fields that uh, Kent agreed to have been uh, filled out in mm. very neat, uh, easily legible handwriting um, that outline the address you are to report to, the time you are to report, and uh, as well as the scope of your duties. And as you come to this like sort of uh, cave network and make your way down the naturally formed steps, you see it, a massive ship uh, moored, kind of tucked away from the main port, um, successfully obfuscated from view um, by the, the rocky jutting projections around you. The sea is particularly cold today, and uh, the sprays of, of, of uh, chilly water are kind of they're refreshing on your on your hungover faces as you <laughs> as you walk down the steps um the ship itself uh is painted with words along the side called the mischievous merid in uh very curly uh golden handwriting and it's the ship itself uh is painted a a, a very stark a sort of yellow almost like ochre color um it has some some like almost crown molding along the sides and the gangway itself uh also has like an elaborate carpet that's been rolled down um the first thing you notice as you approach is is there are no guests of honor in fact uh there's very few ticket holders kind of waiting uh to board the vessel but also that a majority of the staff is constructs. Huh. Huh. Hmm. There are a few human staff members kind of tending to the constructs or making sure they're functioning properly, but a majority of it seems to be sort of automated. Well, uh, assuming the systems in place are adequate, I mean, this seems like it's going to be an easy job. They're constructs, they do the thing. They. You know, how can I mean, this go wrong? They do it pretty well. Do you see that? They put carpet over wood on the gangplank. Guys, this is pretty nice. All right? <laughs> very, so relax. very fancy. It does feel but, like there was a specific clause about, like, our job is not to critique or note any of the design decisions, and I think I understand why, maybe, now? Yeah, it's That's, really good. Smart. It's, this is a nice, uh, like... I think you two were about to say the same thing, but from opposite points of view. We should maybe get on the gangplank. Probably not, actually. So design and decor is not on the list. I right. don't think so. No. Okay. Oh, good, because this... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wanna... We're here for once, Virgil, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to walk up to one of the contracts mm -hmm. um, of you would. and see if it has any special greeting or anything. For us, since we are special guests. Yeah, um, two things. Uh, Kent, give me an intelligence mm. saving throw to see if you can recall cool, cool. if you were supposed to give notes about okay. the design. And as you walk up to the construct kind of sitting next to the, to the gangplank, I suppose would be the correct word, um, you see it has like little thin plumes of steam coming out of, out of these uh, two... Um, what would they be called? I guess spouts on the top of yeah. its metallic head. Its eyes are kind of dully glowing, a, a soft green color. And as you come up, its mouth, its lower jaw just kind of unceremoniously clangs open as though a mechanism is being engaged and words just come out, but the jaw does oh. not move up and down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and it, it opens and says, greetings. Welcome aboard the mischievous Merid. If you have issue finding your ticket, say one. If you have your ticket, but not the proper identification, say two. If you require these dialogue options in Operator. Elvish, <laughs> Celestial. <laughs> <laughs> and it like continues infernal and it's and even though you say operator it just keeps going through <laughs> no. oh the worst <laughs> operating system draconian oh. that's, After... really, that's really inclusive guys you got to appreciate that 
Um, so yeah. yeah, never mind. Just go. After about uh, key- four minutes, it eventually concludes and says, "Press three. <laughs> and you notice are there are there <laughs> buttons on this thing? <laughs> you notice there is one button, and it's a three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> And it's right where its name is, Beetle. Oh, Beetle nice. Three. Oops. I'm pressing three. I'm smashing three. If you would like to select Orcish, please say Orcish. <laughs> if you would like to select Elvish, please say Elvish. If you would like to select Infernal, please say Infernal. Shaka. <laughs> I don't, I, I also, I don't know. Uh, do we need to go through every option? I was just trying to get to where our route, I was hoping maybe we'd be able to see where our uh, accommodations are. Do, uh, but I do, guess we can find it ourselves. Do we have, tick, like, did we get documentation in the paperwork from, I assume mm-hmm. we did. Yeah. Okay. We have t- uh, yeah, we so tickets. I'll, I'll hand you the, the tickets and the IDs and stuff that it asked for before we started choosing its language, Shaka. Uh, sorry, sorry. This was all in mind. Sorry. Still a little foggy. Uh, Beetle takes all of the tickets from you, scans them with its eyes. Like a small beam kind of goes down it and then across it and then down Fancy. it across it. And it looks at you unceremoniously, Shaka, and says, Welcome aboard, Salise. <laughs> You've been assigned the balcony stateroom. Oh, thank you. And it looks at you now, acknowledging your voice. Welcome aboard, Donnie. You have been <laughs> It's a bold choice having multiple actors do it, and I like it. Donnie. <laughs> you have been assigned the president suite. Oh, heck what? yeah. So then. And then as you talk, Donnie, <laughs> it turns towards you. Welcome aboard, because Rick, you have been assigned. <laughs> Error. That makes sense. And that's honestly the close pronunciation I usually get. So that is pretty good. Um, I can't wait to see this error suite. It seems pretty nice. I wonder if it's named for like the air yeah. of the land yeah. or like the air. Yeah. yeah. Guys, Rick, air, air, air. It's, it doesn't know where you are. Yeah, yeah, the, no, 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 you have no re- accommodation. We'll I'm starting sort of to like this board. cruise less and less, guys. I'll be honest. This is this is what we're here to do, right? We're supposed to yeah, kind of make sure it, everything's on. Notes. Yeah. Oh, exactly. speaking of which, here, here's your clipboard. Here's your clipboard. Here's your clipboard. Here's your I'm clipboard. not. No, I am not. This no. That that. I where would I put that? No. I throw the clipboard overboard. It's okay. I have wow. more. In my luggage, I will, I will <laughs> hit you with them. I would, I would stop unless um, you want your luggage over. Well, I mean, it, 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 it is discouraged oh. while aboard the mischievous married. Oh, it's fine. We're not on board yet. We're still on the gangplank. <laughs> it's not taking place while we're here. I love it. <laughs> make an intimidation check. Me? Yeah. Okay. Can... You're intimidating an auto dial. Intimidate okay. this contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> logic right. point for it i think like so the intimidation oh, is more so it. like it's yeah it's like now actually contemplating this right uh sentience. that would be 23 23 <laughs> yeah you see the eyes kind of dim for a second and then brighten and then dim as though it's like its internal mechanisms are trying to make sense of what you've just said and then it says correct course of action error didn't think about that Mm. oh no i broke it (laughs) i uh virgil we haven't gotten our rooms yet i'm gonna take virgil and my tickets and like hold them up trying to get it to scan again like it's yeah self-check-in now is that yeah yeah no 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 no. we'll no we'll figure out my issue later yeah yeah. you get checked in first gosrick says he did he did write the contract i'm just saying (laughs) uh it does scan and it says Welcome aboard, Kent and Virgil. You will be sharing the Ottoman suite. 
I have to be honest, I was really afraid that it was going to stop after Ottoman and we just had to share a poof. <laughs> <laughs> it would have to be a very large one, but okay. I, one would hope. Mm -hmm. uh, can we rescan Gosrix? <laughs> yeah, it's like just sitting there sputtering. It's jaws yeah. clanging open and then shut. Yeah. Uh, I, well, I'm sure we'll find you an empty uh, stateroom. Actually, it's this um, is good. No, 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 no. I'll walk it off. I'll have a good time. I'll sort of be able to screw. Virgil, what do you think? Um, you said that there were some human attendants, like basically fixing oh, right. the the, oh, yeah, the yeah. constructs. Yeah. I yeah, I think Virgil would look to to a non construct at this point and and say we're having a little trouble finding our friend's room. Oh yeah, of course. Here, let me let me see your ticket. There's. Oh yeah, this is just normal binaric cipher. Um, yeah, I can translate that. Uh, so you're Gosric. Yeah, that's this guy. Oh, okay. Um uh well that doesn't make any sense. Uh it's got you in the crew quarters. <laughs> yeah, these these guys, they're not they're not they only can they can only scan the guests tickets. Yeah, so um we've got you in crew quarters B. That's with the engineers on board. So Oh okay. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know you were crew. I I didn't know I was crew either, um, but that's okay because you know well, these are really important. I wouldn't give them to the bots. Um, yeah. Did you miss the? Did you get the orientation packet? You look a little confused, friend. I'm I'm very confused. Totally missed the orientation packet. But you know what? I'm a fast learner. Um, I've been on the job for like 150 Here's this years. Encode dot shard. Just go okay. ahead and take that. That's gonna have at least part of the orientation on it. And then here's your paperwork. Um, I think according to this, you're on. Uh, you're on second shift, so the first three hours of the cruise is is yours. Uh, try to stay below decks. We try not to bother the passengers. And then after that, you know, but that, that's your time to spend however you want. And then after that, we are going to need you in the engine room. Got it. Okay. Um, Guys, yeah. I got to go get checked in for my shift in a few hours. I'm going to go put my stuff down in my room. Um, I'll check back in with you all in a moment. I'll walk with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I, I'm headed that way myself. I'll. I'll, I'll thanks. Thanks. And and uh, I don't want to call you boss the entire time. What, what's? Well, I'm, I'm. I'm not your boss. No. 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 Oh. Okay. I'm never. I might just call you boss for the fun of it. You know, I, I like that. I love this. I love this. I, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm navigation, but I, I could probably help you find your your boss or man. I think I know the manager for engineering. Uh, okay. Great. We'll figure it out together. I think. All um, right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the half orc uh, pulls up her overalls a little bit and is like, "Yeah, let's walk. Let's walk together." Sure. Uh, so how long? How long you been engineering? Well, I mean, sometimes I've been engineering all my life. I've always been taking things <laughs> apart and putting them back together, uh, kind of in my mind a lot. So I've just been kind of doing that with magic for the last like seventy-five years. Um, really working with not really so much uh, the real mechanical parts, but I'm excited to get in there, do a lot of on-the-job learning. I'm sure. You know what? I'm excited to see you work. You know, my mom said that cartography school was not going to work out for me. But look, who's, you know, not the lead navigator, not me. I'm way down the ranks. But, you know, I'm yeah. navigating. Hey, buddy. And you know what? If you're doing what you like, come on. What complaint can you have? You know what? I'm going to you can call me boss. I'm going to call you captain. Yo, careful. Don't, don't let don't the captain hear you. That's me. I'm the captain. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's going to get very down, confusing. There is no captain. But there regardless, is no, yeah. Okay, there's I'll, no captain? No, oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I love a really flat structure. That's actually pretty good for my notes. I like that. <laughs> and she leads you downstairs. You want, <laughs> you hear this. This this conversation comes carried back on the breeze towards you. Mm -hmm. The half working gas disappear somewhere towards the back of the ship. So that one's on me too. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that she asked me if Gosric was part of our crew. Uh, but oh. I guess she asked if Gosric would be part of the crew. Oops. I couldn't I couldn't really did did you did, did anyone else catch the part about no captain? I I, it was, it was, it was automated. I, it might have been a joke. Fine. I mean they sound I, like I, they were, you know. Joking around, and and, just, and Jas Jasmine, you said we haven't like we've seen like a a small amount of like humanoids, but mostly constructs. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I mean, so, there's got to be a captain. 
Yeah. Salise yeah, his name's is Joffrey. just... <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. The look of concern on Donnie's face. <laughs> and there's Salise's. Just, there's just so much concern here anyway, because I, I mean, like, above the clouds, I love how Masood runs with a bit, but, I mean, I thought about saying something, but Masood just ran with it, so now here we are. <laughs> Um, shall we go aboard? Yeah. I I have a concern. I have a lot of concern S- here. Several. Yeah. Also, didn't anyone else but please tell me someone but me read the book from Candlekeep about the constructs that caused a whole uprising and an army and the fact this this gives me those vibes. I read that book. I feel like this is going to happen here. It's fine. I was too busy painting, so no. I don't remember. Yeah, we were I mean, doing a lot of searching in candle. Wow. I don't remember time. Yeah, for I I read the book last week. Oh, I thought you meant while we were there. No, I took the book while we were there. I just got I mean, around to reading it. We've been busy. I mean, I mean, I read some reviews, but. Um, I have good memories of you know our old, our old construct Nim. Uh, and... uh, no, no, no. These weren't these weren't Nim constructs. And we had good times on a ship before. Rival yeah. was great. Yeah, that was yeah. in space. A yeah, ship the, ship, the ship that we were on before Rival wasn't. You know that was an that was an experience. But um, but 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 Kent raises a good point. This is a ship, and and we're in water deep, and it's on water. It's it's a it's a cruise ship we we're not we far handle. from home if things go wrong exactly right. that yeah. we can always do some magic and kent tries to cast minor illusion but can't because the hangover is still there <laughs> yeah as wow. you can it, it's so bright like it <laughs> yeah i just immediately turn it off <laughs> yeah oh god sorry no more of that none of that you mm. flash bang yourself <laughs> <laughs> oh well leave me on I'm get I I actually take your hand because I was a uh, I was on my way there anyway so I like take your hand in my walking right. Virgil, sweaty gloves um. you <laughs> Your hand is also being held probably oh, like a true. foot below yeah. where Virgil say, would yeah. normally be holding. So I didn't your think hand. this is where your hand was. But... Oh my god! Uh, I'm trying so, to look for. Uh... I'm basically looking around for a uh, food or a food station or a kitchen. Oh, that tracks of that sort. Oh yeah, uh, you notice that the ship is kind of like you know, it's it's um organized I should say into into floors is the easiest way to describe it, and below the decks is the crew quarters, but above the decks, like sort of as you as you walk on board, you see um almost different like pavilion setup, some of them in concentric circles on top of each other, um, similar to like a, a gambling barge, like of, of old that you would, you would see in America. It's, it's kind of like that type of structure. And in fact, um, the back of the ship, because this is not a sail ship, does have a giant wheel-like structure that does propel it forwards um, with a, a lot of steam and different mechanisms coming out. It's, it's more of like a sea steamboat. Yeah, yeah, like paddles forward. Yeah. Um, in the in the middle of the ship, you do see a large, rather well-appointed banquet hall that has been set up as sort of like a welcoming kind of mixer for the few passengers that are on board. Um, there are, once again, mostly constructs wheeling around. These ones, instead of having legs, have like one giant sort of gyro ball that they balance on, um, kind of wheeling around. Uh, as the boat kind of rocks steadily, they're able to adjust, make little micro adjustments, carrying around trays of drinks and finger foods. And uh, this is probably the first place where you might notice a little bit of certainty's touch. The rest of it doesn't seem to fit your understanding of her your, or, or your knowledge of her camp, but this is one part that you think she maybe has had a hand in because almost all of the food is is almost Marquesian in nature. It's it's kebabs, it's hummus, it's mm. it's olives and 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 things that are like seasoned. Even the wine itself comes from the sunnier parts of the world. 
um, and feels light and refreshing. Uh, most of the drinks, the mixed drinks, have fresh fruit uh, cut up and put inside the wines to, and, and they're iced to make them like very refreshing. Um, it's not summer, so this is a little bit discordant yeah, sure. uh, <laughs> with with the environment that you just left in Waterdeep. Um, since you're not going to actually be cruising through tropical climes, at least at least not for this journey, but you think maybe she's been planning ahead. This is all really a, a very nice touch, I have to say. That will that should go on the list too, right? Like positive reinforcement too, we should, I think, right? Gaz yeah. Oh, right. Sorry. No, I'll, yeah, I'll just around that down. corner he comes in. No, you're Jesus absolutely right. Christ. Positive reinforcement <laughs> is great. Sorry, I put my stuff down. I got the lay of the land a little bit. Mainly, I just know how to get from my quarters to the engineering bay and back because they said that's all I really matter for so that's that's the path I got locked in and then I know I found you guys because I always know my friends are <laughs> that's so a little uncanny actually that you always know where we are don't want it's creepy we're loud that mm. no that's creepy he probably has tracking devices on us have you heard us we don't need tracking devices Larry knows where we I'm are right, right now without magic also, I can cast scry, guys. Like, come on. I mean, oh, that makes now me you made great. it weird. Oh, no, okay. you did All make right. it weird. Yeah, we can did. talk about it. It's probably weird. Now I say it that loud. It's a little weird. <laughs> it's a lot weird. If I catch you scrying on me, you're going overboard. Only if you get lost. You get lost. We've got people got lost before the doppelganger thing. Like, there have been times where it's been worthwhile for me to prepare a scry. And I figured, what if someone gets lost overboard, right? We got the scry. Friend. I can swim. I don't need you. Yeah. What? Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, All right. We're on a ship. The new one, the food seemed a little seasonally yeah. inappropriate. Yeah. I mean I, well, I was looking for the food not only because I'm hungry, but because I was worried seeing all these constructs. It was kind of like maybe there's oh, whether or not there actually would be food, <laughs> yeah, or like that very is... little food. They're they're uh, true, not. I mean, hmm. I assume most of the passengers will be. Have we flash? Have we checked? Good question. Good see question. any other passengers? <laughs> yes, you have. There's only about a dozen passengers on board. Oh. Lots of attention from the crew, then. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. it feels mm -hmm. it's good. Crew to passenger ratio, overhead small because there's a lot of automatons, I imagine. Um, worth asking about the upkeep, though. I mean, like, what was their power source, and if there's any the fail safes that go in, if there's ever like a power surge wherever their central device is from, or the you are the perfect one to be in engineering because these are all questions that you can get answers for down there. Oh, yeah. oh my God, you're right. Oh, okay. And I'm still good. I still got like like 30 minutes before my pre-shift shift. So we're doing okay. Amazing. Sounds right. I mean, part of part of what Certainty asked is for us to check out the operations and the crew. So yes, Gosrick, this infiltration is perfect for you. That's what they're going to call it? Infiltration? Sure. Yeah, I wish I had. Yeah, I wish cool. I hadn't said. I mean, word. I think I no, no, no. I think it's good. <laughs> I think it's good. We can uh, when certainty asks about it, we can add a little addendum because okay, Kent, keep that contract handy. We might be able to squeeze a few more uh, crowns from her about this. You know. Uh yeah, it was pretty ironclad, and I don't know if I can get that same type of chocolate. Uh, but the type of contract Kent draws up it's is very, yeah, 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 it varies yeah, yeah. on it's contract. Just, it's just like, he's using contract yeah. chocolate, yeah. <laughs> well, the chocolate's not, you don't want to heat up the chocolate. It's not going to melt the same. That's right. Gonna, yeah. Mm. It's got to get on your fingers. Mm -hmm. Um, Is there anybody, Jasmine, that like, I know this, there's not a lot of people, but is there anybody that we might recognize on the, on the ship? Hmm. No. Um, yeah. Give me a... Give me a history check. Yeah, this is Ooh, to see okay. who you can who you can recognize. Just no, Hani no, no. or all of, all of us? us? Anybody that's looking around for anyone? Okay, because oh, I got a nine. So. I'm still. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, you're right. too much. Ooh, These my uh, history bad. is not good. That's an eighteen. An eighteen. Sixteen. Six. Sixteen. Um. So, Big five from the guy with the head yeah, in front of yeah, all the food. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. he's eating now. Yeah, 
<laughs> um, yeah, Virgil, you recognize one of Laryl Silverhand's deputies. Oh, okay. You've seen this person working for the Open Lord of Waterdeep. You've seen them in the in the district or the quarter a few times, the castle quarter. Um, they they don't give give me an insight check. A swing and a miss. That's a six. Yeah, you know their you know their name is Yara Leon. Um, you don't know why they're on board. They they stick out to you because, like I said, they're one of Laryl's like assistants essentially. Um, and I will say actually, with your role, uh, Celeste recognizes them as well. Um, but yeah, the two of you immediately you've seen this person tending to the sort of day to day minutia. Uh, that Laryl uh, handles it it strikes you as odd because I guess you're shocked at like why they would be here why they would be invited on sort of like the soft launch of a of a cruise when they probably have bigger things to do for the open lord water deep would they have been there when I was drinking with Laryl Pro probably not okay yeah that was probably like more of a personal, you know, okay. outing that the two of you had. And and um, this is more of like a work uh, assistant. Got it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go up to them. Interesting assignment from Laryl, huh? He, as he turns around, he looks almost shocked to see you. Um, and and smooths his hair carefully around his half-elf ears as he, uh, as he says, uh, Yes. <laughs> uh, hello, Lady Celise. Nice to see you again. Hello. And you, you know my companion, Virgil. He, like, gives you a curt, like, sort of nod or, or bow. Uh, I I must confess, I'm not surprised to see you here. <laughs> oh, this really? I think it would be uh, their sort of uh, scene. All right, then what are you doing here? Well, I was asked to look into a few things by by uh, Lady Silverhand. Hmm. Find anything interesting yet? No, I'm still looking into it. I'm trying to get an audience with the chief engineer. Oh. Just questions. We've gotten an anonymous complaint. Oh. In regarding? Well, uh, a young wizard in whose education Lairol Silverhand was sort of uh, funding, well, he was uh, sort of the brains behind a lot of this operation, but uh, and he's claiming that the people running the ship have stolen his ideas or something like that, and I just want to have a meeting with the chief engineer to double check the veracity of these claims. I mean, why won't they see you if you just tell them you're here on behalf of Lady Silverhand? Well, for Lady Silverhand to get involved, she would have to have reasonable cause. And uh, mm. my job to make sure she finds that. I see. Well, if I, if I find who that is, I will let you know. I'd appreciate that greatly. Hmm. Um, anything else you want to ask, Virgil, before we find our friends? Only just, when you say stealing ideas, uh, is, is, that a, is that a crime of a severe nature? <sighs> no, uh, but I think... Uh anything like blueprints or um, it could count as industrial espionage. Oh. I love hearing that word in that accent, so I'm in. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, if you find anything, please feel free to find us. Be safe on board. Some of the mechanics seem to be on the fritz. And uh, Selyse just taps her hair stick which is uh, rather fancy, but it's also very sharp. 
Mm. Yeah, speaking of, what are you all wearing? We talked about the fancy duds you donned mm -hmm. to board the ship. I would like to take a moment. What is the rest of Salise's outfit? As I go look up my gift. Um, <laughs> she's wearing a mix of armor and a fancy blue dress. Um, like, like she mentioned, she's got her locks up in an updo and there's a fancy hair stick kind of holding them up and because it's the least she's not going to be totally unarmed she's actually pulling a wonder woman with the sword down the back of her dress mm -hmm. and um what looks like her luggage is actually her shield so you know it it looks like luggage it's it's really not and you know she's got high boots on in blue and silver uh, a long blue skirt and, you know, never to be fully unarmored. She's got her pauldrons on, she's got long gloves on and, you know, she's ready to fight or dance either way. Amazing. And what is everyone else wearing? Oh, um, well, since we've been talking to, I already forgot, uh, since we've been talking to Yara, um, Virgil, when we were getting the fitting, we we didn't really have a specific occasion in mind because this is kind of Kent's whim every now and then. But this particular these the particular outfit that we're wearing was inspired by the crest of of Waterdeep. So Virgil is wearing um sort of a uh, a dark blue waistcoat with silver um a silver inlay, um actually wearing like the ruffled dicky and and a kind of a sapphire gem, um has his hair longer and up um and has 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 his fan but the fan has also been emblazoned um with the stars and and moon style of the crest and because it was fancy and on, on short notice he decided it was something that he would wear his wings to so he has been he has been um showing his his kind of blue glowing wings but also he's probably been like turning a lot and and to not bump into people with them because it's not something that he wears for every day and uh and 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 kent added a little magic that somehow like a sort of a a like a moon is sort of like his not really headdress but it's like a halo but not so we're mm. not we're not that kind of angel <laughs> uh, <dare. laughs> Uh, so if Virgil has the lower half of the the seal of water deep art, uh, Kent is wearing the upper half. Uh, so he has restyled his horns, which is apparently a thing he can do, uh, to sort of look like uh, the the crescent moon that Virgil's not halo uh, mirrors. Um, he's got a sort of um, I don't know purple and periwinkle kind of jacket and little half cape, uh, and the lapels and the collar of the jacket are turned up. Uh, to form these great big huge uh, peaks that sort of come up behind his head that are uh, the mountains of Mount Waterdeep on the seal. Uh, and then he's wearing a, a blue like sash around his waist uh, that is the lake on the seal with some of the, the sparkly stars uh, that you can see also on, on Virgil's uh, uh, the lapels or rather the shoulders of Virgil's uh, waistcoat. Both of I us are it. hazards, aren't we? We're oh, yeah, a yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. It's so extra, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because that was literally, we went into this design meeting and I was like, it just needs to be like, like Met Gala extra. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Drag race extra. Yes. Stanza <laughs> extravaganza. Extravaganza. Yeah. Um, uh, Shock, Shock is wearing a um, first, he has some brand new specs. So he has some some uh, fancy little spectacles on. Mm -hmm. um, he has a nice uh, brown uh, hat on, kind of like a uh, kind of like a, like a military looking hat. Uh, wearing a nice brown coat, like kind of like a nice trench coat, and and he has a, a beholder wrapped around his shoulder, kind of you know in 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 a in a, in, a, in, a, in in like a nice crossbody, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, you know, this is the the uh, his uh, his uh, foe. Hey, okay, Shaka, to Virgil know. and I have a question. We, we need to know. Yes, of yeah. course. Just any beholder. Mm -hmm. 
Or is it uh, Xanathar? What, what a nice setup there. Yeah. <laughs> is it, is it, I mean, it might like it might this, be foe. It might be like stuff. I don't. That's I true. Don't Maybe know. it is. I don't know. Oh no! Oh no! This is mass production. <laughs> oh no! No no! This is the OG. This is the original. Mm. Um, because it's a one of a kind. Yeah. Right. So if he wants to get fancy, this is one of a kind. So he has mm -hmm. it uh, wrapped around, you know, his uh, shoulders. Uh, it's really funny in the chat. Um, and uh, he he also has some nice rings on his tail, um, and just some nice comfy loafers, on, you know, because he wants to, Smart. because he 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 wants to has have a, a comfortable walk because that beholder adds a, a lot of pounds on them, so he wants to have a nice comfy walk. I just realized what the inspiration for your outfit was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Being oh, in that oh, yeah. meeting was so incredible. Good. It was Absolutely. so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I, uh, sure. Dahani, who is kind of, she's eating, but let's just, let's just be real. She's picking at the food. Um, and part of the reason that she was kind of like splayed out on the rafters was because she needed to her wings to dry mm -hmm. because she got them painted, uh, the day before. So instead of, uh, the normal red, black, and gold that you see her in, usually she's, her wings are blue now. Um, and she traded uh, her normal tunic and painter smock for a dazzling sky blue uh, hood and tunic combo that also reminded her of the Crest of Waterdeep completely separately from Kent and Virgil. Um, she's traded her gold for silver. And um, you can see she does have a little bit of a, a pouch that's holding some very bright blue feathers um, where you would normally see uh, her painting darts and she's got like this um, net of silver stars that is dangling from both of her wings and every so often as she and Virgil catch eyes because he's not used to walking around with wings like she reminds him to like pull them in a little bit and because uh, he they just they just like to go out and so we're I'm giving him like silent wing tips as we uh as we move around the, the ship <laughs> And then uh, Gosric is uh, honestly kind of dressed to be at sea. Uh, he's wearing what looks like a Spanish admiral's jacket that is got like the little like silver pauldrons on top. There, it kind of goes all the way down to the back of his uh, boots that he's wearing uh, and his very fancy shorts. He's got a uh, blue or like a silver tuxedo shirt underneath as well as a dark silver uh, cummerbund. Uh, and he's actually took his hat off for once. You know, it's off. It's actually available. You can see everything that was holding that hat together was, in fact, just his luscious, thick curl of hair. Um, he's even got a couple rings in his beard to showcase that. Um, and if you play idol champions, you might see his nifty cart with a bunch of knickknacks. Um, but that's that's not relevant to right now. Um, <laughs> he does. He, I do have a question for Jasmine, though. Yeah. Um, he's got a little name tag for his job. Does it say chief engineer or does it just say engineer? Engineer. Okay. Just wanted to know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, yeah. He's... It's definitely like, you look like you work on the ship. <laughs> yeah, 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 100%. You're well, more well at help on this ship than anybody else looks like. When you're walking around like you own the place, yeah. the other human employees believe you. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just like, oh, yeah, that's that's Gosrick. He's worked here for years. Yeah, yeah. Is the whispers are... <laughs> uh, in what fact, the people role don't to like you for questions? They're like, um, Gosrick, sir. Uh, we, I, I know that you're in charge. You know, you're in part of the engineering department. Um, I'm, I'm, uh, in in hospitality, but we are actually out of out of orange slices for the wine. Um, what do we do? Oh, this is a tough uh, one. Uh, um, okay, uh, get me, uh, one of the oranges and and a and a bucket and some uh, uh some dirt. All right. All right. Um, and then I, uh, as soon as he comes back with it, I cast uh, was it wither and bloom? Uh, and I like have it just an grow. Tree? Uh, yeah, I just grow an orange tree real fast. Okay, we're back on it. We're good. <laughs> Hot fix. Uh, we're doing great, guys. Really keep up the pressure. Hey, and I want you to know, I've been hearing a lot of rumors of people calling me captain. I'm not going to say stop doing that, but I'm not going to encourage it, okay? So whatever you guys do with that, it's up to you. Just letting you know I'm aware of it. <laughs> yeah, you're like the most popular employee. Everyone's like, yeah, if you have a oh. problem, go to go to the captain. <laughs> and that's, that's what it means, the captain. The captain, yeah. <laughs> I am the captain now. Thank you. That's It's very good. 
And now there is a gorgeous orange tree growing in the center of the banquet hall. That is one way to avoid scurvy. Oh, right, because you get that on boats. Virgil, man, this is... We need your opinion around your, your whole. You've been on the seas a lot. You know all about storms and, and oceans and whatnot. I this is a luxury cruise. I don't think we're gonna be over. You know what I what I did on ships is not important right now. Um, <laughs> actually, and what is important is where the bar is. Oh, is that is that like a lesson for being a sailor for so many years? You got to always know where to get the garage. You don't want to drink the good water. No, you I, to... I just need a drink, Gosric. Oh, okay. Gosric, go to engineering. Oh, guys, I got to go do my shift. And then uh, Gosric <laughs> makes his way to the ship. <laughs> like, y'all are on a job, but like, Gosric got a job. <laughs> He went, he went deep, deep <laughs> undercover on this one. Inception <laughs> levels of uh <laughs> like it's actually undercover boss kind we, of actually. We gotta make sure it. that we gotta make sure we he disembarks when we do though. I'm afraid that <laughs> y'all are gonna That's... go back home and Gosric's gonna be like, I've yeah. always been here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. I've we need him to refill here. the moon. There was with never the moon a time. Juice. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think what we gotta be sure of is that Gosric doesn't actually try to do any real engineering. Oh, I he mostly will. trust the worst him. That could happen. Mostly. Uh... Keyword mostly. Did you hear yourself? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I have proficiency in tinkerer's tools. I've never had a moment to use it before, but this is a good, this is good, right? You uh, yes. you can't hear us. You're doing your job. <laughs> okay. Bar. This is going to be the opposite of Shaka thinking his skills apply to cooking. It's Gaza yeah. thinking his oh, cooking no. skills apply. Engineering. Yes. Engineering. Boy. So yes. This, this ship's going to sink. It is going to be yes. our fault. It's very, it's going to be fine. fine. It's going to be fine. fine. Knowing certainty, she's probably got a pretty hefty insurance policy on this. Should anything wow, go okay, that really, wrong? That, that actually makes me a little more concerned now. Right. Far. I mean, we actually Far. slipped acts. We slipped acts of God into the contract. Now I'm a little, okay. And tear didn't answer. So that's, Far. that's all I had. <laughs> um, as, <laughs> As you find the bar, as you look for the bar, mm. and you ascend the steps to the second floor, the second level of, of the cruise vessel, you see the, the grotto kind of like becoming smaller and smaller behind you um, as you drift further out into the, into the ocean. And that's actually going to be where we take our break. Oh. Because we are officially halfway through the campaign. Um, we'll be back in... 10 minutes i think we'll be back in 10 minutes right uh get some water stretch your legs use the bathroom that's what we're gonna do and we'll be right back hello and welcome back to a very special rivals one shot now don't forget to log into idol champions and check out season seven the rivals season pass it includes the water tavian skins for Celise, shaka kent virgil and dahani you can read the season seven blog on idolchampions.com and get all the additional deets and because we're celebrating the start of season seven the rivals we've got a week-long party starting today you can log in each day from now until january 10th at noon pacific standard time uh, to claim awesome rewards and if you claim four out of the seven days then you unlock the water tavi and gazric skin a gazric unlock a feat for gazric and three gold gazric chests it's all so good it's it, well what, why won't you just play right now i'm it's struggling for me i'm really trying i like really up almost, right now you know it's really <laughs> right now in some ways i'm, yeah. a, I'm gonna be like jasmine with That's my phone to the side it it, it, it sounded so sad the way you said i'm struggling though <laughs> <laughs> well no because no, no, i god i'm i'm having a good time but it's also great but what's gonna happen when the drought comes around the corner guys <laughs> the rates can only last for so long but that's for me and my therapist to figure out and we'll talk about that uh, tomorrow. <laughs> buddy 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 <laughs> okay tone it down there tone it down there tony stark calm down okay okay um <laughs> welcome back Whoosh! Uh, 
<laughs> whoosh away Masood's depression. Whoosh. <laughs> oh my God. On that um, note. Yes, we you find your way to the bar, Virgil. Um which is like the rest of the ship, uh a a yellow ochre color with like silver and gold um kind of dated crown molding and gilding along the top. The top of the bar itself is is made of metal. And um, there is a, I almost said Servitor, this is how you know I've been playing too much Warhammer. Um, <laughs> there is a construct tending bar, um, as well as a rather foul-mouthed large parrot that is like sitting on a, on a, a stand, a little bird stand at one end of the bar. And um, the drinks are the type that come in coconuts, uh, with or or small bamboo cups with little hand folded uh, animals like little origami uh, mm -hmm. decorations hung off the side that you can unfold to use as a napkin or you know leave kind of perched on the edge. Um, they're in different colors and uh, you know are being skillfully folded by the by the uh, construct um, that has more fingers than a than a human does truly. Um, with one hand, it mixes your drinks with the other hand, skillfully folding, uh, small bits of napkins into like a monkey and perching its tail on the edge of one glass and then a parrot and perching its beak on the edge of another glass. And every single one is like perfectly balanced on the edge, like those toys you play with when you're a kid. That's really impressive probably the most impressive thing Virgil has seen on this ship on this voyage thus far <laughs> we are actually on the voyage I realized like there was no there was no anything to indicate that we were oh. leaving no there, <laughs> just, yes you, we just you looked behind mark, us and was like oh yeah. oh you would mark okay how stealthily the ship departed yeah. I, that gives me concerns but also memories so okay <laughs> mm -hmm. um yeah, I think Virgil's just gonna like is if there's if there's mingling or if there are people at the bar, he will kind of just go up and grab a drink. He's not gonna order anything. He's just gonna pick something up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you're mingling at the bar, Kent, you feel your pocket grow hot. If I had a nickel, <laughs> that wasn't uh, <laughs> um. I will reach into said hot pocket. <laughs> Your sending stone is vibrating. Oh, uh, so sorry. I have to take this. Uh, hello? Hey, okay. So are you ready to execute the plan? Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do is go to master engineering and let the master engineer out of the office and then after that let nature take its course and uh yeah we split the insurance money 50 50. yeah that last bit really answered a bunch of questions and filled in a bunch of gaps uh cool Hey, I think we probably talked about this yesterday, but just to remind me, who currently, like, who's in, who owned this that you're buying it for? Like, who is the, who's in oh, charge oh, of, remember that you know was I mean? a farce. I'm pretending to buy it. Right, right, right. Sorry, right. Yes. But like, who's, so who owns it? Anveline Star. That, that, <clears throat> I'm not going to curse again on the stream. That ah. harpy. That's a good one. Uh, is that a name that means anything to me? Um, give me a history check. Yeah. That is a 15. 15, yeah. Um, yes, it means something to you. Uh, sort of. You've heard of Anveline Starr. Um, she's a businesswoman uh from from water deep you mm -hmm. haven't heard the greatest things about her okay that's good yeah she is 
With a 15, I think what you would be able to glean is you've you've heard about her in the way that people talk about Bezos. Oh, you know, yeah, no, this is fine. Very wealthy person, but not someone that you're like, yes, girl boss, go. But someone that you're like, right. you know, like that. Great. But you, like, you know of her, but you don't know the details of how she does business. Now. Sure. Sure. But this is sort of all part of the rival's uh low key game to just change the whole social order of the city of Waterdeep. So I'm into this. This is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh great. Yeah. Um right. Okay. I Master engineer. Down. Yeah. I mean, abs okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So, so engine man okay, chief engineer yes. out yes. of the out of the office. Yes. Nature takes its course. Is there well, it should, but it might need a nudge from you. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume mm -hmm. that when you have to make uh, sure summoning goes off without a hitch. Remember, oh, this isn't an act of God. We both get screwed. Oh, did you say summoning? Yes. Yeah, no, I, I totally know what we're summoning. Um, great. And the chief engineer is totally in on it. Well, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I that was a statement, not it a question. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Position. And what now? Sorry, say again. You're, it's kind of bad reception. Yazrik is in position. Oh yeah, no, he most certainly is. Yeah. 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 We've okay. We've got plausible he deniability because this is going to be an act of God, and I'm right. like a hundred miles away. Now I feel like there's been so many talks of of acts of gods. Can I? Do we know which one? Well, I I don't know. One of the ones from the plains of brass or bronze or something like that. Uh, I'm I just you know in case anybody asks, right? Like, because they're looking for like proof of active God or something. I just you know I want to be sure we all say the same thing. You know. Well, like, see, this is where things get complicated because, like, okay, okay. this yeah, how, this is where how much how much time how much time do you have? I mean, I look over at the rest of my companions drinking. Uh... I guess as long as it takes for Gosric to start work. Give me a persuasion check. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay at that. Uh, oh, I've yeah. not rolled above a 10 on the die yet today, so that's a 10 total. Yeah, yeah. She kind of like thinks about it for a moment, she's quiet for a moment, and she's like, I just don't know if I can get into the technicalities of it right now, since you have a very short time window. But yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's about. okay. That's all. I'm I'm yeah, that's, you know, it's really up to interpretation, right? Absolutely, and that's the beautiful thing about a polytheistic pantheon, right? Like it could yeah. be anybody. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. It's okay. Perfect. So okay. We're gonna nail this. Yeah, we are, and then we're gonna take that person whose name I totally remember for a ride, and. and yeah. That's yeah, that happened. one. I, I it yeah. was a statement. Um and uh got it. Thanks for checking in and we'll we'll go get that chief engineer. All right. All if right. You need the help or get confused, because I feel like you're confused, just like no, I guess, I'd, 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 more just you know, making sure that we're on the same page. Give me a deception check. Yeah. Am I good at that? Oh no. That seems wrong. Feels like I should be. That's six. I believed in you. Thanks. Mm. Oh, wait, did we? Did, uh, Latia gave us all inspiration as the community manager of D&D &D oh, before this. I'm going to use it now. You <laughs> can use it now. I'm going to use it right now. That's a dirty 20. There it is. <laughs> nice call. You sell it. Yeah, you sell it. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, okay, I know you've got this. Yeah. All right. Well, I, yeah. All right. Uh, over and out. You don't have to do that on these. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and your phone immediately becomes room temperature again. Oh, good. Your sending stone. Your sending phone. <laughs> um. Uh, meeting in the uh in the Ottoman suite, y'all. Um, and do we did, at the risk of this turning out poorly. Does anybody have a way of contacting Gazric? I mean, you know, without just, I, we could find I mean, him pretty easily. I think. Th this, you said this was a, you said this was like, like a steam, more of a steam boat ish kind of thing. Yeah. Then, okay. okay then so we could probably, probably find him. Yeah, yeah. Or, you know, just 
I don't know. Bang on a bang on a pipe, something. He'll probably no, disappear. we just have to have a conversation about finance in which we are totally not knowledgeable about it. He'll know. Oh, yeah. You're I right. mean, everyone definitely mentioned another contract. You yeah, know, the every, other everybody day, everybody seems I, to love him. We can ask someone. That's, that's true too. You know, the other day yeah. I went to the bank and I had them change some gold coins for me, and they told me that the most recent exchange rate was only eight silver to the gold. That shit. Did I just hunters mark him? <laughs> I think you have to okay. see him to do that. I All see right. him in my mind's eye. Sure. <laughs> that also sounds creepy. Look, he said he was scrying on us. Mind's eye. Neither oh, is great. Maybe he's... Gosrick, if you're watching, meet us in the Ottoman room. Sweet. Well, I hope he's not. I hope he is. We kind of need to talk to him. I hope Let's... he's working. No, maybe I don't. No, you don't. No. Oh, okay. And I'll tell you why in the Ottoman suite. <laughs> um... Quick out of character question. Mm -hmm. Can that sending stone send our conversation the other way? If if Kent so wishes, yeah. I will, okay. I, I very much do not wish. Look, I've never used a sending stone. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Not wish. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, so we head back to our suite. Uh Yes, is and you it? notice now your Ottoman suite, why it is called the Ottoman suite. It is a circular room. Oh, okay, cute. Mm -hmm. With a large, tufted, velvet, bright red Ottoman in the center of the room. Massive. We get this host, for our room. You could you could uh, host is, four people on this is, thing. Is, ooh, is there anything on. else in the room? Yes. <laughs> There's also a four post bed that is yes. up okay. against okay. one of the windows. Okay. And they soak <laughs> just the Ottoman. The Ottomans mm -hmm. in like a little conversation a soaking pit. tub. Oh, and there's also soaking like a little tub. drink cart that is next to your massive velvet tufted Ottoman. <laughs> um, is so long as we Gosric? don't forget about the massive velvet tufted, tufted Ottoman. 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 Yeah. I have, a, is, I, have, yeah. I have an answer for you. Um, okay. As you guys settle in, uh, you hear a knock on the door. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll come open. Oh, uh, guys! I brought the. Someone said you need to clean sheets, and they were kind of sort of running low on hands in the like sort of housekeeping department. Oh, hey guys! Hi, what's going on? Yeah, I had to yank the sheets and Gosrick into the room. <laughs> it was like a housekeeping cart behind. Them. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, yes. and they're fresh. They're real warm. They're I real. Grab nice. the cart. <laughs> okay. I Hi, Gosrick. So. so Small change of plans, okay. um, which I definitely knew about uh, when we came down here. So it turns out that we are not, in fact, here to evaluate the um, the sustainability of this cruise ship's business model. Oh, we are, in fact, here to uh, summon, assist in a summoning of some sort of creature that could be mistaken as an act of God and then collect on um, Clarity's v various insurance policies uh, when when that happens. The old slippery dodger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm aware of the heist. Yeah. See, this is why it was so important that Gazark was here. I knew he would have a name for it. <laughs> um, so... Okay. Uh, and I tell them all about, uh, surely, uh, Go Gosric, oh, the other thing. Do you know the name, and I say the name of the uh, Water Davian Bezos, uh, because surely Aveline. Gosric knows who they are. Yeah, on, on Anvilin Star, yeah. Anvilin Star. Um, yeah. Gazric, give yeah, give me an intelligence check. Actually, no, this would be like, I think like perception from what you've heard other people talking about, but do so with advantage since you're in with the crew. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Yep. First one. Thank goodness we rolled okay. twice. Yeah. Uh, you know, thank goodness we tried. Though. <laughs> uh, I got a nine is the best okay, out of those okay. two. That's I've been okay. really loving this life as a as a sailor, yeah. as we're finding out. Yeah. Yeah. So no, you've heard people mention yeah. uh, Ambling Star, but you were not interested in that conversation. You're like, no. wait. No. Tell me about how short we are on towels. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, no. We're running out of clean sheets. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, forget this star person. What about... 
What's the threat count? Can we increase? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gosrick sort of uh, turns to them and says, "Well, I know they're a big deal in, in Waterdeep, but I mean, I mean, it, what? They got something to do with the ship? They they run something uh, on here? So they, among many of their holdings, own this ship, uh, uh... and they're not the most scrupulous of business folk, as far as I can tell. Yeah, uh... there's a lot of a." Uh, corners being cut around here. I would love to speak to them about that. My buddy Mirzak well, has been complaining about the upper management for a while. I'd love to get the word in on his behalf. Anybody that you uh, have made friends with, we should probably make sure that uh, whatever our escape plan ends up being, we bring them along. Because, okay. uh, you know, the staff, not their fault. They're just doing their job. Uh, this is about this is this is about uh, Miss Star. Um, so, uh, do I need to explain myself anymore, or are we just gonna rivals this and assume that everything's fine? We should get Laryl's person that's on the show on the board. Yeah, do that's we, a yeah. really good do, point. Uh, can I ask something? Do they? Do we want them to know? Because I feel like with a slippery dodger, I mean, we got to keep it pretty. We got to make sure that the circle. <laughs> Gosrick. Is... Oh yeah, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. I think it's more that we just make them a priority in getting them out, not necessarily yeah. the the uh, informing them what we're yeah. about. Yeah, we're Thank you for clarifying. I yeah. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. sorry. Are we going along with this? I, I, like, just Virgil just fixes it, Kent. Like we are going to talk later. I mean, unfortunately, I think we're legally obligated to. Like, like yeah, so. that also contract like, was so ironclad. Chocolate is legal. I didn't like, sign morally, it. Morally, I'm not opposed <laughs> to this. Like, you want to sink a random ship? It's not random. It is owned by a very unscrupulous business person who is holding Water Davian society hostage with their overblown wealth and their in unwillingness to redistribute that to the need like we've been working on. They are in direct opposition to our goals for the city. And also we get a nice payout at the end. Have all of you forgotten we are on the ship you all are talking about sinking? It's We're fine. I can turn us into adventures. Oh, we'll, yeah. we'll all make it off. We'll make it off. We'll 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 be and Salisa's here like, Paladin, Oath. Just, y'all just ignoring well, that mean, part, huh? You know, it's for the greater good, probably. Of who? The greater good. And, but of the small people. Of the city, that's of, right. And, and also, this, yeah, go, go. I was going to say, in terms of, of, I mean, in keeping your oath, you are, unfortunately for... I don't know how Kent got power of attorney over all of us, but yeah. legally bound get rid of by that. I I did not sign anything in blood, chocolate, maraschino cherries, or ink. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Since we're talking about this, um, zero disrespect, but which oath are we on these days? <laughs> Man, I might have to well, go back to work um, real fast. I, I I think they need Mir Mirzak's calling, guys. I got I might I might need to funny. leave. I will go with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I it's I'm just wanting Kentucky? I wanna, no. just trying to we're just trying to clarify the nature of the particular current agreement. No, 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 no. You and your husband, Kentucky. <laughs> <clears throat> How dare. I just want to make sure that whatever we need to do, you are in, aren't involved in any part of it that would break the oath. And I just want to be sure I remember which oath that is. Well, it was one thing, but I can go back to vengeance very quickly. Well, uh, actually, choose uh, to not. I mean, aren't cruise ships just giant pollution bags anyway it's an, it's saving nature if you so help and better. get i'm not a of... druid trust yeah, me but... if this ship if this ship goes down you're saving a lot like just pointing at the appointments like you're 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 doing a service <laughs> yeah i don't care about ugly furniture <laughs> i think now that we're here i think we should i i'd no matter how inebriated that kent was i think he, his uh, subconscious knew what he was doing, and it was for the greater good. Absolutely. So I we're gonna have a discussion I, once I we're back home. Them. Also, clarity is very persuasive. My name is certainty. Certainty. <laughs> Not to I mean, me. Yes. No, 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 no. 
no, it's it, there's no because when I was, mm -hmm. yep, when you, you lacked what? clarity mm -hmm. when you well, talked to certainty. What, that is what kept she kept yeah. saying, and I thought it was that I lacked certainty, certainty. while talking with clarity. Certainty. <sighs> mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so are we in? And also, Virgil never let me drink champagne again. I coming. do so under duress. Is if Tear fine. shows up, your response, you're explaining this. You know what? Honestly, five five of us, if we took a vote right now, unfortunately, uh, so at least you would be outvoted. <laughs> but we'll note that <laughs> on the mi minutes. We'll keep a the log minutes? of it. minutes? I've got the clipboard minutes? ready for keep a track. If <laughs> Tear comes all right, in. All right, all right. There's like I a smack the Standing next to Gazric that's been taking <laughs> I, I take is there an open window on this floor? <laughs> Not oh, on this no. floor. They're welded shut. <laughs> it it hits the welded shut concerning. window. No. <laughs> <laughs> um mm. let's let's so, just do the thing. The sooner we so, do the thing. And listen, the sooner... also, we do very little. So all that we really have to do is and and Gosric, I think this may uh, sort of largely fall to you, uh, uh -oh. but we the, the have you met the chief engineer? I haven't. I haven't had a chance. There's been so many orientations and and sort of other uh, onboarding processes that I haven't really yeah. had a chance to know. Well, I don't know what my actual job is yet. That's I, okay. It's probably yeah. better that way. Okay. Uh, so I think the 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 chief engineer is also in on this. Uh, and, uh, and so we need to, apparently they're locked, trapped in their office. We need to go release them. And then they hopefully will initiate some sort of summoning, which we may or may not be required to participate in. Uh, and then, and then, you know, Bob's your uncle. No, no, no. That's a different heist, my guy. We're doing a slippery dodger. Slippery dodger. Okay. So this is less of a heist and more sabotage. Uh huh. Okay. I mean, it's a heist as we steal the chief engineer from their office. We're just well, I mean, uh, uh, Gaz Gazric, it seems like that you made some friends uh, on the ship already. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe one of them can just coax the chief engineer out of their room. Well, let's just see. I mean, what's going on? Is he locked in? Is he? Is he? Is he sort of? You way. would actually know that a little better than us. <laughs> I was told to, to let them engineer? out. Let them out. Well, mm -hmm. I haven't been to his office, but I think I'm supposed to have a one-on-one -on -one with him in like <laughs> 15 minutes. We could go God, check I it out. This. I like that. I Mike. hate this. <laughs> great. It's great. <laughs> You'll do it. Let's come on. You know, yeah, it's, just... it'll be a six-on-one. It's good. It's fine. <laughs> God. Uh, well, lead the way, I guess. Also, we <laughs> should definitely not probably just like meander around crew areas dressed like this. No, they haven't given me any trouble. They kind of, they, they, it's okay. I mean, that really, look. can they stop what's us? What's the difference between crew and passenger? Are we going to have that conversation right now? Is that what's happening right now? All right, all right, all right, all right let's go. Show, lead the way. You are Gazzard. perfectly, you could do work in all your outfits and you would look great doing it. Come on. <laughs> I'm not working in this outfit. Technically, we are working right now. We're on the clock. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah Matt, fine. Manual labor. You lead uh, the party to a set of stairs that go down to the undercrew quarters. The construct that guards this hall or this the, the sort of end of the foot of these stairs um, scans you, scans your credentials easily and goes, aye, aye, cap, 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 captain. <laughs> and like, waves oh, you no. through and then its eyes kind of scintillating with purple light fix on the next one er, greetings esteemed guest this area is for cast only oh uh, uh no that, my that friend just came it, right for you okay it's okay <laughs> they're with me they asked for a private tour and so as my duty as a crewman not a passenger I am entrusted to make sure I give them a proper tour of the home. Make a deception check. 
We, we. I thought you were gonna say that as the construct. <laughs> yeah. I was for, yeah. uh, okay, I I'm gonna try this with advantage beforehand. I'm just gonna say it. It's Believe two. You. It's a good thing. Oh, yeah. good God. Nineteen. Oh Thank goodness. Oh, okay. whew. We are. This is what we really. Burn them. This is why we burn them. Yeah. You see a hatch open on this massive armed construct, and as it does, oh. removes from it four, five little hard hats. Yes. And yes. Says, please wear the designated protective equipment when walking in cast only areas. Please remain with your assigned crew member at all times. No photography or recording equipment allowed. Please hold. <laughs> dispense your weapons in the appointed foot locker and it like motions to like a locker that's like on the ground next to it we're not uh, wearing any it's, weapons it's good they're okay it's all decorative <laughs> where, in this, these where, ones took where would they even yeah like no like <laughs> Where would we even have that? I think it's. I think it's really directed at Celise, guys. I think. Celise is like. We know what's going it's, on. Yeah, yeah. No, Celise has Celise has got basically yeah. perfect posture today because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make a stealth check as you walk by. So we see how well oh, you God. hide the sword in your. My head. worst. This is your specialty, stat. right? Celise? You got this. Uh, You're super I'll... good at this. Do you, oh, no. do you want an enhance ability before you roll through? Yes. Absolutely. I got you. I got you. <laughs> what does that uh, do again? Uh, you advantage. Get to advantage on it. Um, because I think. It's oh, a, blessings. Yeah. Oh, I will spell slot that. Blessings, because I'm gonna need it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, cat's grace. Woo! Yeah, get that cat's grace. Shout out to Jasmine set of dice. It gave me a twenty-one. No. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sir, the this construct doesn't mark uh that you're carrying any weapons. Its eyes kind of like cast a dull purple glow over each of you as you walk by. Um, it does reach out and adjust the hard hat on on one of your heads as you pass by, making sure that it is on correctly. And then it goes back to like it rotates its head around and just like returns to its station. <clears throat> Celise is just like, this is not even going to fit over my hair. Why are we doing this? It's yeah, the protocol. Kind of it's like protocol. Down. Can... He's brought his crescent moon kind of like to hold it on top because it's, <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. hair oh, yeah. up there. Yeah, Didn't even notice that I don't have head. a hard hat. It's a whole thing. It's, we, I'll, talk to, I'll talk to the owner about it later. Um... <laughs> no, but no, don't. Specifically, you will not. That is oh, right, 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 right. I'm, I'm sorry. It's been a it's been a whirlwind of a day. You guys. you 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 really it's been got two hours very fast. I mean, I we was... have been on this ship for a few hours, and you are already <laughs> so deep in. It's tough once you're the union boss. A lot of people depend on you. Are you just gonna elect you just the get union like, boss? It was a tough I... day, guys. I had the real runoff. It was really hard. But I appreciate I'm glad your that... hustle, man. I appreciate Thank with you. you what? Shaka gets it. Wait, who did you have to run off with a construct? No, it was Mirzak. Honestly, it's pretty yeah. unfortunate. I can't be mad that right Gosrick unionizes literally everywhere mm, he goes. I no, can't be mad. I can't be no, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad he unionized. I was just wondering, like, who was the runoff? <laughs> All right, mm. let's go. Yeah. Here in the bow of the ship, you're surrounded by uh, heavy machinery um, that is pounding, ticking, and clicking away. Massive gears around you. You can hear... Uh, the gentle thrumming of the mechanisms that keep this sort of paddle in the back of the boat, uh, propelling and moving it forwards. And you also hear like the sucking sound of air um, being pulled in and expelled around you as you realize that there are a number of sort of bladders uh, around the bottom part of the ship that kind of keep it stabilized at all times. And so occasionally the air bladders on one side will inflate to kind of gently right the ship and occasionally deflate to bring it back. So it's always perfectly um, where, aligned like as it, as it needs to be. Cool. Um, you see a number of constructs going about their jobs. You also see a few humanoids. Um, you do get some side eyes and looks as you're walking around and but then they see that you're with that you're with Gazric, and so clearly everything must be above board. Um, yeah, you see him get a few fist bumps and back pats as people go around. Congratulations on the election. 
Nightmare. You know? We all won. We all won. Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare. As everyone goes about their business, and you know the path to the chief engineer's office, and you find it. You find your way there. It is not a very pretentious office. It's just very simple. Uh, there's a simple wooden door with a simple wooden plaque on it that says, you know, chief engineer. And when you try the handle, it opens easily. I'm going to just step in, guys. Go, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, yeah, you first. Kinda, yeah, I yeah. kind of thought this might be a little more difficult than this. Usually you spend a lot longer in front of doors. Um, I'll go through yeah. Before before Kazra goes in, do we hear anything coming from the room? <laughs> yeah, give me a perception check. Dice are not happy with anyone today. None of us. That's why I'm that's why oh, rolling real come dice. On. Eleven, really? Why? Oh wait, is that? Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. You you hear the sounds of the engine kind of thrumming around you are so loud that you don't hear or see anything kind of coming from the office that would seem amiss to you. I, I mean, maybe the difficulty is just getting the summoning done without anybody seeing the summoning. Maybe the retrieval of the chief engineer is not meant to be a challenge. Or, I mean, said, worst case it, scenario, you said, someone already killed like, the chief engineer. That's bad. Well, that was not the job. The job yeah. is to let the chief engineer out. Let yeah, I'm saying worst case scenario. Out. Someone else already did that. They stopped well, I think us. If, we, if we'd been here for this long, surely somebody would have noticed the chief engineer was missing, Gosrich. Sure. My experience on ships says that that is not necessarily Oh, yeah, no, true. I know that's an absolute <laughs> lie, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, like has anyone walk, checked, I, I walked has through the door. The, no, yeah. um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's see what's let's see what's waiting. Right. Yeah, as you walk through the door, you see a desk sitting empty with an opposing chair. Um, the wood of the desk is is worn a little bit, as though it's been well loved. Um, like I said, this is like a union boss's office. It is very unpretentious. Um, there are metal cabinets kind of lining the walls around you. Um, there's some heavy, uh, like very large tools to kind of tend to the machinery that have been unceremoniously leaned up against the wall as you come as you come in. There's like some coat hooks uh, with work wear on them. And then these tools have been kind of laid on the floor next to some, some ink, or I should say oil stained boots. Um, the desk is littered with papers, um, but there's there's no one in here. Oh, buddy. Ooh. Hey, so couple of possibilities. Uh, Chief Engineer escaped. Um, Chief Engineer is what we're meant to summon. Um, that's it. <laughs> Then I do an investigation check. <laughs> yeah, what are you investigating? Um, to see if there's either signs of a struggle, foul play, if there's anything like on these papers yeah, that are just sure. kind of splayed around. Uh, help? I'd love to help you on that. Yeah, I was going to do the same. Sure. Are you rolling as well, or are you giving me advantage again? I'm going to give you advantage this way. Okay. And Dahani, what were you doing? Um, I was just gonna help too, but um, if if Godric is giving you advantage, then I'll roll one on my own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I will get to honey advantage. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um, More enhance. <laughs> that is a nineteen. Nineteen. I moved one sheet of paper. That's how I helped. <laughs> <laughs> I got a sixteen. <laughs> so, Felice, as you're going over the papers on the desk, at first. They just seem like schematics for the boat, schematics for the engines. But as, as Gazric is moving the papers around, it, it probably is a little bit annoying to you as you're like, I was looking at that. Um, you do notice that one of the papers he unceremoniously shoves away looks different to you. You grab it. Mm -hmm. And as you do, you see plans for a construct 
a construct trained to mimic the movements of a wizard from Waterdeep. Um, and I'm reading it, and and I just look at it, the others. So, one of these constructs might be pretending to be a wizard, or thinks it's a wizard. I don't uh, know if its name is Gale. <laughs> can I? Hmm. Well, the windows in here were sealed, so it's probably not a wind. You're fine. Yeah, that's is um... it... very good. Is it? Is it that it thinks it's a wizard, or is it that it's going to go through the motions of the summoning that I don't know anything else about? I mean, and I'm like I'm, looking at it. Uh, more you like, and oh. I are not the ones to answer that question. <laughs> no, I with my 19, my el my human eyes see. <laughs> um, I remembering the conversation from Yara. It was that a one of the wizards under under Laryl's purview complained about having ideas stolen. This oh. goes far beyond that. This is it does. how um actually now that Salise has found this, um Dahani, can you take a look at this diagram? Yeah. How <laughs> detailed like cause I cause for constructs, I'm like, how how detailed can they be? Are we talking like Westworld or are we talking like Chuck E. Cheese? Oh. Yeah, that's oh. the spectrum of constructs. <laughs> where I could have said, I could have said the Hall of Presidents Little... at Disney World and terrified everybody. Okay, so just a diagram of stick figure that enough. says does right. wizard stuff. <laughs> yeah, do I need to make any kind of roll to kind of Ooh. determine how how intricate this is? Give me an Arcana check. Cool. Can I have advantage because I tried to be an artificer for a while? That's why I gave it to Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My my once upon a time one level of artificer was not going to help me here. I got an 11. It was almost a 17. Nice. Oh. Yeah. You, with an 11, you don't understand the intricacies of this, of how this works, but you know that it's not a simple construct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the mechanisms involved, in fact, are a marriage of spellcraft and machine craft. Ooh. Something almost proprietary in nature. <laughs> I, I don't know what can... that I don't know what that means, but this looks real complicated. It's not just peers <laughs> and stuff. Um uh. by chance, is there a logo or initials on <laughs> this paper? Yeah, the initials are an AS. Mm. Uh -huh. So it wasn't just stealing ideas. It seems like it's stealing a lot more than that. Oh, we should totally oh. kind of ruin this person's day, right? That feels Telling right. You. Yeah. Greater good. Also, Greater with good. the 15, the honey, you noticed <laughs> that there are scrape marks near one of the steel lockers by the back wall. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah, my gaze will kind of travel from this paper that uh Virgil is holding in front of my face to the uh to the locker. Um and kind of like bird like she will literally go like head cock look go and then uh point. Uh that don't look right. Oh. Hmm. Um is there blood or just scrapes? Uh, just scrape like something or oil across <laughs> okay, the Okay, like toward like towards yeah. it. Yeah. Um, let's have a let's have a look inside. I was gonna say follow it to yeah. wherever it is and if yeah. it's a block or open it. Yeah. yeah no, no ceremony. No. Mm -mm. There is a inactive construct that looks like a gnome, kind of like sitting completely powered down inside. And on the door that you open, one of these steel doors that you pull open, on the inside is an infographic that says, in case of emergency, activate chief engineer. Uh, oh. Uh, mm. Now this all makes sense. Does it? Well. No. A little bit more. <laughs> eh. Can look... any of you all, not me, I lost all my magic. 
figure out what exactly this thing does when activated? We know it mimics say, yeah. wizardry, but do we know in what way he says looking at the spellcasters in the party? I can try. I mean, we could do an arcana to... check or well, would... like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, do an arcana yeah, definitely. But in, in case of emergency on a ship, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I, I'm gonna ask does does this um mechanical gnome look like the schematics that are on the desk like that were okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a good that's a good clarification First though. Because <laughs> auto clone. No, really. Yeah. Would uh, would Celise have recognized it with that nineteen looking at the schematic and then to this construct? Yeah. Yeah, I think Celise not only recognizes it, but with the actually nineteen is quite high. I think Celise would also know that. This is this is a construct that's been trained to not just mimic the behaviors of 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 someone else, but to is almost trained on their work. Oh, so it's an oh. I am so mad at you right now. Oh my entire god. <laughs> oh, so it's uh I can't think of a single site right now. Oh my gosh! So okay. Um, okay. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, what wizard did it train on, or is this multiple wizards that it's trained on? I mean, okay. Do we really want to know if it's been trained on nope. one thing? We should just nope. get rid of it. It said, in case of emergency, activate the chief engineer mm -hmm. yeah what would how many different things on a ship would constitute an emergency that you would need a replica wizard f to fix mm. acts of gods hmm. mm. so do we murder the robot on the way out is that the plan <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a <laughs> construct. I don't know if we can murder it per se. Well, um, here's the thing. If we want to get the job done at the same time as we want this thing to stop existing, we start it and then we let it do its job and then we save the boat. Well, but we don't want to save the boat. No, no, no. Think... that's yes. what I'm saying. Oh, we, got it. Got we it. make sure that the damage is done. Got yeah. it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Then save all the passengers. Because that's right, how we right, save right, the right. boat. We save right, the passengers. Right, right, right. Very that good, feels very okay. Good. They um, the money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does this infographic give any more information as to exactly what this thing does? I rolled a 22. Is that enough for me to just like flip oh, them on? Yeah, or an arcana. Yeah, you think with a 22 you could turn them on. Cool. I do that. I uh, Well, I asked the group. I think I can turn them on. I think I can just activate it. That is growth, Gazrik. Checking in before Ask, acting. Asking before just touching I anything. I am so that. proud of you guys. I, guys, honestly, I think we try to turn. a few months as a golem will really have you introspective. It's really a good time. It's uh, good for you. Good for you, my friend. Good. Just me? Don't want to try it out? Don't want to try it please, out? Please flip the switch. Okay. Yeah. Uh, flip the switch. The auto gnome hums to life, and as it does, it gives you a curt little, like, tink, like a, what is that called? Salute, Farley. and goes, greetings. I am Salzen Lamont, here to solve your problems. <laughs> How may I be of service today? We all look at God's <laughs> oh, I look at Kent. Um, yeah, I figured that was going to happen. <laughs> Are you in an experiencing an emergency? Uh, Mr. L uh, Lamont, will you give us just a moment? Of course. In okay. case of an emergency. Oh. Mm -hmm. Simply say, activate emergency protocol. Can you tell us what your emergency protocol is, uh, Chief? It's yes. mouth opens and out holds like a long, thin curl of paper with, <laughs> with words printed on it. 
I oh, swear to God, if we have don't, to don't, don't, don't do that. I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking on this thing, but nowhere does it say activate the emergency protocol no. on it. God. Activate Look at emergency protocols. Okay, well, do well, not stay here. You will be safe. You are in the capable hands of Salzin Lamont. I am frantically reading the thing that mm -hmm. it spit out before Gosric activated it it's to see what to expect. Give me an investigation check. Actually, since you're doing this quickly, give me an intelligence saving throw as you're yeah. like hearing through the document. Wow. Yeah. We're really throwing Gosrick overboard now. What is today? Genuinely can't <laughs> roll above a 10. Hey, it's a you nine have inspiration total. too. This, I yeah, used it already. Oh, I thought, I thought oh. you didn't. No, I, yeah, I used it on the uh, deception we'll do, so we'll the journey do, would know. Uh, I, I... We'll do a couple reading then. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's 18. You see, yeah, <laughs> you, you see. Go. You see his hands shaking, you grab it and you help. And with an 18, that's actually quite good. <laughs> you read that the emergency protocols have been recently changed. Oh, good. You see change <laughs> logs and updates. An 18 is enough for you to see that this auto gnome was originally training off of uh, sort of the machinations of its of a of a different engineer, different construct engineer, Sal's in Lamont. But then you see access codes shift and it has instead been training off of a different wizard, certainty drawn. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love. Okay. Are we so, good? To answer your question, originally its emergency protocols were to test all of the evacuation devices and ensure the engine is in good order. But now it's emergency protocols involve uh, essentially sending out a distress signal to all of the other constructs on board, gathering them in one location and convincing them to create a God of their own making. You know, um, huh? we, um, we, oh, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go? We gotta go. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> What? Mm -hmm. Why? What certain? Why? Plan? You know, just um, I I Ooh. believe that we, uh, you know, I'd like I kind of want to see it honestly, but I really think that we should see it from a distance. There's they're gonna, um, uh, it's gonna call the constructs and they're going to create a god. I I that well, that's, 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 that's the plan. Which that explains why certainty couldn't tell me which god. I get it now. So, oh. um, I would say it. last call. Mm -hmm. And yeah, what was that, yeah. Shaka? Trying to gather some of the people on the ship. Yes, that as part of last call. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So who do we? So we. <laughs> so we need. Um, we need uh, Laryl's uh, deputy, and we need. Mm -hmm. uh, what was your friend's the name, Gazrik? Mirzak, guys. Mirzak. And we need like the other like sixteen people on this boat. Yeah, and I mean, Laryl's uh, steward. Yeah, or, Yara, Yara, Yara Leon. Yeah. Yes, Leon. thank you. Um, yeah, I th I think um, Gosric maybe spread the word that the crew needs to um, evacuate. Did we see if there were any emergency vessels like lifeboats? Yeah, um, yeah, Gosric, get the crew. I'm uh, on the crew. Rally that and. Well, we, we got to we got to time it right. We can't, you know, because otherwise the insurance won't kick in. And that definitely feels is, like a as, real ironclad part of the plan. As you're saying this, uh, Kent, the you see the auto gnome buzzing about its business going. Right. Salzen Lamont has been made redundant. I am the new and improved Salzen Lamont. I shall make another Salzen Lamont in <gasps> the image. Oh, oh good God tools in the corner and begin like disassembling footlockers to create a shittier version of itself that's great uh -huh. oh, amazing wow. that's awesome you shall help me spread the word we are the new and improved sals and lamont trained upon the findings of sals and lamont there is no moral or ethical dilemma with this and then... <laughs> <laughs> sure from that point of view yeah i bet not it makes which is not anything like the original autonome that one starts to make a new one. Oh, oh it's time to it's leave gonna, it's, it's gonna go. get really cramped it's in this getting office. weird <laughs> 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 all the automatons are gonna come in here yeah yeah, yeah. you know yeah. 
Okay, so it's it's it, weird. It's you know, it felt impressive at first, but now I just realize that there's really no creativity at all no, in what this thing is doing. The more you look at it, the more the more uh, you realize it's like gonna, it's just yeah, it's not no. Yeah, mm -mm. It, it feels impressive until you pay attention. That it's a cancer. It's all it is. It's a cancer, right? Yeah. 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 There. The fingers were useful for making drinks, but now I'm just okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We should go. we should go. We should go. Yes. Uh, I that think moves. we. Try to run back uh, to at least the main catheter. Run back, yeah. um, Kenji. Your finger, your finger, <laughs> 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 your pocket gets hot again. <laughs> um, uh, certainty. What is up? Did you do it? <laughs> uh, it being the chief engineer. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Try it? Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. You just the the evil cackling on the other end continues. That's for a how you know it's a drawn. That's how you know it's a drawn. That's that's exactly yeah. You all can hear the cackle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, needs work so much like your dad. Uh, yeah, on ready. Uh, and uh, it's poisoned all of its data. It's gonna it's gonna sink the ship. <laughs> you did. I gotta tell you, some of the replicas it made you real janky. The Amblin. How dare you cross me? This feels a little more personal than I realized, but you know what? I'm going to still stick with the greater good of the, the city thing. Um, So we're going to like round hey, up some. Hey, yeah, hey, uh, uh, listen, uh, me yeah. and Salzen went to school together. We had to read those freaking books and write those papers. And she thinks she can just come in and use a little scrying stone and program a robot to replace him. You know, the more you tell me about her, the more I'm just really into your you plan. Last night, I no, literally I'm... told you and you said we should sink her ship and collect the insurance money and make this entire scheme where you buy it right before it sinks and you insure it for double. This was like literally your plan. I am first of all impressed with myself. But second of all, just gonna <laughs> say that if I haven't said this to you already, it was the champagne, but like we, I want you to, you know, you executed this and really should get the credit, at least as far as like the other rivals are concerned. So maybe that's all that needs to oh, be said. Oh, will they be jealous of your genius? Let's go so, with yes. So good. Okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll keep it under my hat, but. And, and, let and. Me tell you, your champagne ideas, great <laughs> ideas. I feel like they should be supervised more, but honestly, I'm not mad about this one. I just feel like they might be. What? I, Gosric wouldn't. Gosric will totally be on my side. Listen, if we started litigation, it would last for years and stuff, and we'd have to prove intellectual property theft. It, and you told me that would be a waste and, of my time and money, and it's just so much better to poison. And that's true. Data. Listen, that whole system is rigged for people like Miss Star over there. So honestly, you know, it might have been champagne induced, but truthfully, this sounds exactly up my alley. So, yes. And we're going to now oh, I will God. say like the other people on board, like, do you feel kind of like innocent bystanders? So we're going to go round them up uh, while your delightful little autonome uh, does does his business. OK, that makes it sound like he's taking the poop deck, but all right. I'm Ian. Listen, you made a lot of fart and poop jokes yesterday, too, and I tolerated them. So I suppose I can tolerate I them. I do apologize. Like that is also a drunk Kent thing. Great ideas, terrible poop jokes. Yeah, yeah. You also kept saying champagne makes me fart, and I was like, I know, I can tell. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't. That was fine. We are really close now, aren't we? No. Okay, we're gonna go <laughs> round people up. <laughs> she hangs up on you. I, Damn. That is a wow. Kent is not used to being on that end of the burn. Certainty <laughs> said no to parasocial relationships. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we're going to go get the people now, and Kent's not going to think too hard about how Certainty doesn't want to be friends. Uh, 
<laughs> Can we hear this conversation? No, it's in my head. <laughs> oh, no, I yeah. just think we are we're interpreting oh. we're interpreting it from the face journey that he went on talking. And the body and it was a yeah. journey, let me yeah. tell y'all. I just I feel like the only thing we actually heard was that no and then click. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And then we just no. saw like sending stone. How do you even click that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think she just said click. Had another sending stone. And... <laughs> just... <laughs> and then the, Ken's reaction after that oh. no told us everything. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, we um the as long as the crew is safe and I guess we should save some of the noble chumps rich no i mean at least rich. at least the one that works for laryl oh, oh yeah yeah no, yeah, I mean, yeah, probably, yeah yeah we should um yeah. the rest right. of them eh. uh all right let's gather them up to the to the lifeboat embarkation decks and we'll get things moving as you go towards the stairs to go up to the to the deck um you notice that the construct on guard um has actually activated its own emergency protocols as this call has kind of been sent through uh almost as though by like some type of psychic magic uh, throughout all of the constructs it um puts out extends its arms like almost as though they were retractable the entire time to block uh the stairwell oh and uh, says um for your own safety, you must remain in your chosen quadrant during emergency protocols. No. Please move to your nearest emergency exit. No. Locate nearest emergency exit. Error. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, uh, <laughs> Kent walks into a wall and then realizes that he's too hungover to use ghost walk and cannot become incorporeal mm -hmm. and says, well, that was my only idea. And Salisha smiles and reaches behind her. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, she still has her sword. Yeah, the robot wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I'm going to stun it. Oh, there mm -hmm. you go. Oh, yeah, it's, it's you stun it. I'll <laughs> you stun it. I'll cut his head off. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna punch it. Ding the lily. Yeah, go ahead and um, oh, wait. give me give me a deception check just to see if you can catch it off guard. Heck it, yeah, it'll just automatically hit. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. mm -hmm. This is Dahani at level seven when her charisma is a seven. Nice. <laughs> minus oh, one. Yes, it's, it's a, a negative minus one. one. Wow. Donnie um, yells, I, I'm gonna punch perfect. you. <laughs> the opposite oh, of a faint. What is the um, opposite? Literally says out loud, days. I'm just gonna stun it. <laughs> so can I try something? Yes, of course, of course. I, you can still you can still attack if you want. It's just No, I'm I've got a better idea. Free. Yes. I've go got a better it. idea. I'm gonna misty step behind it and shove it down the stairs. Oh, that's so smart. Love it. Oh, that's okay. lovely. Yeah, give me an athletics check as you shove it. Oh, oh, that's man. perfect. Oh man. Uh your your set of certainty dice have been very kind to me, so I'm using them again. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a picture of this. It's a 21 because I have a plus four in athletics. Oh, yes. Yes. Well done. Yeah, you all see Celise turn into mist and reform behind the construct. And as she does, she kicks it down the stairs with a force that sends it flying against the machinery on the other side of you. It gets caught in the gears and is almost immediately disassembled into nuts and bolts. Well, that's certainly better than stunning. Yeah. It occurs to you that if it had attacked you, a similar fate may have befallen <laughs> any one of you. Yeah. Yeah. With these massive pistons and gears kind of like uh you know metallically crunching around you i didn't think about that when i said i was gonna attack it <laughs> onward, onward yes let's up. Let's onward let's, let's, let's before roll. we can get crushed by the gears beneath us yeah yeah, yeah. you make your way to the upper decks and you notice now that a lot of the constructs are gone and in fact as you're watching you see 
a grate over a vent on the floor kind of slide aside. And as it does, uh, the bartending construct just kind of like hovers above it and then gets sucked down almost through a pneumatic tube as the vent then covers it again. You realize this is how they get around the ship. Mm, cool. Oh. Awesome. Clever. Shame but we can blow it all up. Now, mm -hmm. oddly empty of any type of constructs. Feels like that'll make this easier. That seems, it's that's great. Seems pretty much what we were expecting. Um, we're we're yeah. not sure what the time scale on this is, so we should probably keep moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, have we seen Yara? Yara. Yara. Give me a perception Yara. check. <clears throat> Good for for the flesh bags. Oh, we no. want to keep oh, around. Yeah. How? Uh, yeah. How perception. are perception passengers reacting to the sudden movements of the Ooh. constructs? I think most of them haven't noticed it yet. A lot of them are looking <laughs> right. out at the ocean. Love that for them. A lot of them are wow. uh, Like these people, I did not do great on perception. I got a seven that time. Yeah, you don't see Yara at a first glance. Huh. Well. Mm. I'm going to look for Mirzak. The same, same mm -hmm. role. I... I'm going to start looking for lifeboat situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got a 12. 12. Yeah. Yeah. You see the half work you were talking to earlier, but you don't see your new friend, Mirzak. Yeah, mm. This guy will know. Um, hey, buddy, captain coming through. Uh, and I try to you know what's going on with the, with the, um, with the bots. Yeah. Yeah. I was having a conversation with the chief engineer. Um, and they oh. are on the fritz, my chief dude. Engineer situation. It's a chief engineer situation. Oh my uh, God. It's really, it's kind of above our pay grade in oh. a lot of ways. Um, and if you want to make sure you get your pay, we should uh, sign a, make our way out of here. Um, I'm pretty sure there's oh. going to be a motion of, we should get to the boats quick before some of these rich folks, kind of the, these people who don't care about the crew, you know, they, they, they set the difference between <laughs> passenger and crew. They make a real delineation about it. Let's make sure you get in the boat first. All right. Do you, you think that this is gonna like you you don't think the chief engineer can fix whatever's wrong with the bots you think this no. be, I, you know sure. we can't be too careful it is an emergency situation and we should probably follow emergency protocols for crew mm -hmm. so maybe we should evacuate oh i thought the emergency protocol was to activate the chief engineer and then the chief engineer uh, directs us, and we just do whatever the chief engineer says, right? Oh, yeah. We did that. We did that. Mm -hmm. But like, like Gosrick said, the chief um, engineer is a little bit on the fritz. Um, you're broke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where we should have really started. It seems. Oh, yeah, yeah, chief yeah. engineer broke. True, yeah, the chief engineer broke. Yeah. 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 So I well, think what happened to the person that the chief engineer was was modeled on? Oh, that guy's not on duty. He didn't but yeah, was think... he was he a religious sort? Because because the chief engine the bot was spouting something about about gods and I I just I it's I pretty far gone. What 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 what, ha what, ha what happened to the engineer? Because after we after they made the chief engineer, they demoted the other guy to the engineer. Was, but what happened to him? Is he still here? Did certainty mention that the no. was still on the ship? No. <laughs> Is it, uh, uh, is, I can honestly maybe, say I don't maybe know. Maybe he can fix the. Maybe he can fix the auto. Maybe he can fix the chief engineer. Where I that might we find him? Wasn't he in the office? Oh, no, no, no. We need to get off this boat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Why don't you help us <laughs> gather up the rest of the people? You grab the people. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, um, okay, I'm, I'll get navigation. Great. I'll get Lucy and hospitality, take care of hospitality. Thank you. I think Greta is in housekeeping today. I mean, yeah. if you hit up Greta and you want to hit up engineering. I got it. I'll even uh, talk to, yeah, yeah. I'll talk to Greta. I'll make sure everyone uh, makes it back to the boats first. Brad has uh, been fucking up lately. I heard we almost ran out of towels, but it was a real, it was a real moment of short staffing. I just, it's not on Greta's fault. It's really I'm not. Over that. Like Greta has fucked up a lot today, but still, you know. Oh. I, okay, okay, okay. You're not um, in the die over, right? I'm just saying, I can't, I can't even look at her. But I'll take care of navigation. 
I'll take care of hospitality. You take you take care of Greta. I, I just can't look at her right I now. I got Greta, and I'll put her in the farthest away boat from you. I got you. Don't... The leakiest one. Put her the in the leakiest. Oh, you're a, you're a red master. Sorry, are like there this. degrees of leaky <laughs> on the life? But you know what? I don't want to know. Now I have concerns, but okay. Nope, it's going to be fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Tahani, why don't you and uh, I and anybody else who wants to come with us, we can go start getting the, the boats down to the deck and ready yeah. for boarding. Yeah. All right. Right, Has uh, anyone I seen guess... Yara? <laughs> oh yeah, I should probably. Um. Oh, hold on a second. I do I. Maybe Yara is sea gazing. <laughs> I'm gonna go look for the crew. So um, that, are we all yeah. above? Are we above deck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, Virgil. Um. Virgil actually um, casts like gust around himself, and as basically an action because of storm sorcerer, then begins to fly above everybody to try and spot Yara from above mm -hmm. to because now based on the conversation like Virgil's not sure if Yara tried to do some sneaky stuff themselves as well or hopefully it's among the crowd so yeah just a perception check from above the crowd yeah don't, as don't you, fail me <laughs> yeah, you, as you're like sort of surveying above you can get advantage on this role since you have like a sort of eagle eye view I love it when he flies like that. Aim. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a five because I rolled a two and a one. I love these hungover rolls. It's yeah. perfect. This is, yeah. As you, as you kind of take to the skies, um, the light reflecting off of the ocean around you. Yeah. Just yeah. All that bright. is. That is too real. Okay. You don't have your sunglasses or your Advil. And so oh. <laughs> it just seems like it, if it's, it's like it's, it's boring into your soul, the solar energy from the sun reflecting off the waves. It's beautiful, but also you're just having a hard time picking Yara out in the crowd. I got a little more brown. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Um, all right. Then, yeah, after, like, after basically uh, getting getting like mirror reflected by the water Virgil kind of slowly sinks back down like I couldn't uh -uh, just mm, mm, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> um while we're while I'm lowering lifeboats with Kent I probably will be doing the same thing but from the ground level so mm. yeah you notice as you start lowering the lifeboats people start to panic a little yeah understandable yeah you start to see people kind of jostling around as they ask like what what's going on what are you doing with the lifeboats we're lowering them and a <laughs> a uh, rather drunk aarakocra comes over and is like what are you lowering them for <laughs> because you sir are too inebriated to fly get in give <laughs> charisma <laughs> seven baby <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah. Such such finesse. What which role did you intimidate? <laughs> but you only intimidation. Did you ten because this this is Eric because we can't drunk. roll higher than that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, dice. Now. I rolled a natural now. twenty for an now. eighteen. <laughs> right now, wow. this is when we needed it. Wow. This is when we needed it, and this it came through. Thank moment. you, D and D Beyond. Thank you always. I yeah. think it's uh, there's only 16 people, 16 passengers on board. Yeah. yeah, with the Nat 20, not only does he on, he brings his entire team of soccer hooligans with him. Like, all, well, like the toughest guys, bunch ever. Let guys, him deal so with the bar. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, we're getting kicked off because we're really too drunk. I don't want to be on this stupid boat anyway because you're going to give us an open bar and then be like, oh, you're drunk. Stupid. He goes so in and stupid. Sits, sits on the boat, <laughs> and five other <laughs> drunk humanoids follow. Most of them, so Eric Okras, all wearing um, <laughs> water deep jerseys. I was gonna oh, say, yeah. they got the, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have an open bar, but don't oh, yeah. stupid. <laughs> <You don't laughs> Oh, I feel called out, but okay. Uh, oh, I love it so much. Uh, right? 
Right. Oh my God. You know what? As they all get on the boat, like there's nothing stopping them from drinking. I just throw a bottle of liquor at them. There you go. Here's your, here's your open bar. <laughs> Lightless. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Wow. Light risk. I love that. I love it. I love it. Uh. <clears throat> Well, that's six-ish of them down. <laughs> uh, as the as the crowd is thinning, do I see any sign? I mean, it's it's ten people, so like, do I see Yara like yeah. anywhere now? No, you do. You see Yara actually making uh, his way towards Salise, like kind of walking at a determined clip from the far side of the boat right. towards. Um, where you all are near the front of the boat with the lifeboats. And um, as he does, uh, his his uh, very fancy lacquered shoes kind of clip-clopping against the wood of the deck, he says to you, uh, Ladies, Lise, I, 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 uh, I'm not quite sure what I just witnessed, um, but the constructs seem to be uh, disassembling each other and creating a monstrosity in the engine room. Yes, and we should go. So we're not going to... I'm going to trust your word on this. Uh, I. It's, um, it's complicated, weird things I can explain on the way to shore. We should just go. I must confess, I was not able to get any, any evidence of, of industrial espionage while I was down there. Instead, I watched a rather grisly ritual take place. Uh, hopefully, I think I still have the the paper that shows the making of the oh, other yeah. wizard. Oh yeah. Oh well, in that case, uh, yes, we should leave. <laughs> uh, it it had four arms and six heads, and oh, they were worshiping it as a god. Uh, let, yeah, uh, we should go. We should we should leave right now. And, and I, oh look! I just got another you. lifeboat down onto the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I usher Yara into the boat, and I'm looking toward the others, like y'all come in. Uh, um, did you arrive, find? Yeah, I, I arrive yeah, with a here. I'm waiting to hear about. From, okay. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. They follow me like a. a you're the union right. leader. I'm That's in the second right. coming. Um, and I'm here with all of them behind me. And it's, guys, see, it's really, really a wonderful day. I wish we could extend our uh, context longer. Make sure you get severance out of this because that really needs to be done. Uh, this is none of your faults. Like, this is not on you. It's truly an act of Gosric. God. Gosric, do it on the boat. Okay. And if you all ever need uh, recommendations in the future, here's my card. 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 Yeah. Uh, you notice that to them, this is a walkout. They're like, oh, no, sure. sure. Yeah. Low sure. pay, we won't stay. Low pay, we won't <laughs> stay. And sinking they're like, ship, marching, we won't they're marching stay. off. Yeah. Like literal sinking <laughs> ship. This yeah. Is great. No, I mean, that, no, that, that actually would be, yeah, that would be fit them well if the ship were going down, but they were still on the job when it has. So it's, uh, this is good. This is very good time. Yeah. Very yeah. good time. I feel good about all of this <laughs> yes. more and more as it goes on. <laughs> yeah. They walk out. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and and it... yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, the captain, guys. I'll see you on shore. I think I have to go down with the ship. No, I, think that's part I of the literally pick scoop him. Up? Scoop him. Just, just, yeah. scoop him. <laughs> uh, the hat yeah, throw him over. The hat works like crying. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, a violin starts playing. Like, Near my God to thee. Yeah. <laughs> He like scoops you up. <laughs> the best oh, I know, know, man. It's okay. Hey, man. I live in I live in Water Deep. Just come on. We can hang I'm out. Shoving them life. onto lifeboats. <laughs> to name like... my first kid after you. No, oh, don't, do don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. No, <laughs> you can do that. That's okay with me. Yeah. It's not okay with us. You're so brave. <laughs> oh, 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 you know oh, where we are brave. We won so tonight, we guys. We all won. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like a lot of the crew crying as they get on the ship. Wow. Kent, Kent sneaks to the other side to like lower one of those lifeboats for us so that they don't see Gosrick <laughs> leaving the ship. Perfect. All right. <sighs> and then uh, I'm going to cast a big fog cloud for us on the way out so they don't see us. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so very good too. Yeah, like, yeah that's real good. Roll it in. Yeah, it's cool. 
So they don't see the captain didn't go down with the ship. Absolutely. And I'm going to wear a hat from now on, so they'll never recognize me again. Uh, (laughs) Oh, you get into your small automated boat. Um, You see a massive construct come tearing through the deck of the ship, formed of the disassembled bodies uh, of the smaller constructs absorbed within it with far too many fingers. It says, it just like you hear like a shuddering screech of metal on wood as it's like crushing the, the ship underneath it. And it says in like a thin metallic voice, we are legion. Hey, should we be worried about what happens if that thing makes landfall? Nah, it's about to be 10,000 legions under the sea, my guy. We're out of here. Push him overboard. (laughs) (laughs) This whole time you wouldn't let me throw him over. Now you get to push him overboard. The pun. We'll bring him back so you can do it again. Yeah, it's all right. There you go. Yeah, yeah, I'll come back up. (laughs) And the rivals return to Waterdeep, triumphant. Eh, that's how we do triumphant. It's yeah, fine. I feel like we were more, we were more like minions in this than anything else. <laughs> well, it's apparently I was the mastermind through. of it all. So uh, <laughs> you bamboozled all of us. We're gonna and have myself a hard included. Mm-hmm. Myself included. <laughs> this is what happens when we drink. Mm-hmm. Amazing. I love drunk Ken. So much for joining me, rivals. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, Henny. Ryan, Latia, Sharif, and Masood for bringing back your iconic characters. Go check out the new Watered Javian skins for these amazing on Idol Champions. Thank you, Lauren and V, for helping out. And thank you to our moderator, Gabe, and everyone in chat for hanging out with us tonight for this ridiculous one shot. I I love these this configuration of people, so I apologize if uh, my <laughs> was a little off the rails. I always... <laughs> Keep it fun and funky when I'm kicking it with the rivals. Last time I turned them into kittens. It was great. great. Listen, I know you have a script to read, but I got to stop you for just a minute to say, (laughs) as the only person who has ever DM'd this crew who isn't part of this crew, thank you so much, Jasmine. (laughs) This was incredible. Thank you. This is awesome. You're very welcome. I'm so honored to have been your uh, DM. And... um, yeah, thus ends uh, Aquatics Incorporated. The AI <laughs> is coincidental. Oh. Oh, uh, God. See. Uh, see. Uh, and see here, I thought it was a play on the other thing. I thought and it was the other thing, too. Uh, layers. Uh, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. guys, layers. layers. <laughs> it's an onion, y'all. It's an onion. So good. That's it. Have a wonderful night. And we'll see you when we see you. Bye. Bye, Bye, y'all. Take care.